Um, good. I was just checking, that's 200 meters. Um, I might change this. Uh, I'm gonna put that in the other storage drum picture. Video, do you have a sense of why the uh, Argus camera is working so much better this time? Okay. It certainly is. That's great. It could just be a mystery. <laughs> the ship is full of secrets. It, <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Nav, can you double check me on exactly what depth you expect us to come down at? Sounds great. Is that better? Okay. Somebody's still is. Yeah, somebody's. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, so everybody give your mess a little space with your mics. So one thing we didn't get a chance to talk about last time was um, what happens if you see just the ve vehicles going dark. If it's just the vehicles that have a problem Typically, that's something that can be handled between um, the three people, just on the three people in the front row here. Um, if it's just the vehicles, if it is a problem with the winch or if the ship has gone dark, that requires a few more people. So anytime we have a problem like that, um, I'd like the watch lead to be somebody who goes and gets um, expedition lead and ROV leads. Roger. With ROV leads. What's up? with ROV leads uh, going first. Sounds good. Hopefully um, that doesn't happen. Yeah, um, but it's, you know, it's kind of part of the, the of deal sometimes. Um, so, um, video is another person that can be called into action there. Um, for anyone that needs one, when they do exit the van, it kind of helps to have a radio. Um, our conversations happen on channel two. Um, conversations with the bridge and ops conversations happen on channel one. So we have a bunch of radios here. So if you're leaving the van to go find people or do stuff, grab a radio. 
um, that ju can just help when you're like running around the ship. Um, it's possible that either video or watch lead gets called into action on the social deck operating the winch if we have to restart the winch because of failure of the ship or failure of the winch. Um, Kylie will be going down to the winch hold to restart the winch. She'll need to throw control to... I just sped back up. Yeah, saw Gosh. that, thanks. Kylie will need to con throw control to the social deck, which will then throw control to um, the van again. Um, I think in this case, uh, watch lead is gonna be the best person for that. Um, and Lubeck, and if you want, we can go over um, wind shops again after this, if you need a refresher. Yeah, that uh, that would be good. Okay. Um, it's only a brief sort of thing that you have to do, basically just haul up immediately when you're told over the radio, and then uh, send control to the van, where I will be prepared to operate it. Um, it's two, It's a joystick and a button. Yep. Um, so that, those are the people who should remain like very engaged. When you see the screens all go dark, except for the ones on the surface, that's typically a more serious type of problem that will require uh, a, like a whole team coordinated response. So, you know, um, yeah, that's the kind of thing we're looking at. So yesterday when all the video went dark, we had, we started immediately getting the ship going, um, hauling up on the winch. Luckily, it was just um, the vehicles that had failed and the power source for the vehicles that had failed. Um, so it was a pretty pretty simple response that we needed. Um, but we want to get the ROV leads and the expedition lead and make sure the winch can actually... I'll, I'll go a little faster. Yeah, thank you. The, make sure the winch can actually uh, haul up. Any questions about that? Sounds good to me. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, awesome. Afterwards, I can go over any of those things. If you guys want to see the winch hold and see what that means, I can show you. It's on these cameras on the left-hand side and on the top screen on the left-hand side. Um, any tours necessary to make those responses make sense to you, um, Kylie and I are happy to give. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what we think and what we're, what we're expecting. Roger. And it's definitely not the end of the world. We're set up to fix lots of things out here. Um, pilots, we're going to put down right at 3489. Awesome. So, Roger. How do you ladies feel about doing introductions or do we need a moment? I'm good. Uh, that would be great. Somebody's microphone is touching their mask though. I don't know whose. Okay. I think we're good. Are we good to go? Yeah. Still happening. Or their collar. That's the other thing. You're good. You're good. You're good. Test. Front, front row is clear. You're hello, good. hello. How do I sound? I'm good. Uh, we're starting to sound good. Okay. Testing. It's okay. Oh, nope. Still there. Is it me? Hold on. It might be me. Let me move just a little bit. Good now? Think so. Think so. How about now? Let's roll with it for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way you can slow down a little bit? Yeah, sure. I'm not slowing down. I'm just not keeping up. Sure. I'm going really fast. I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sonic speed. I do not need to be going this fast. 
Well, hello world. My name is Brandy Jones. I am from Houston, Texas, representing from A Leaf ISD, serving as a science communication fellow today. And I am very excited to see what's down below. Pass it over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, my name is Amber Saravallo, and I am in the science chair. And next to me is going to be the watch lead. And we're all excited. Um, we should be touching down onto the bottom during this watch. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Megan Lubetkin, and I am the watch lead on this watch. And really excited to see what we see on the seafloor. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, I am Mary DeRee. I am the data logger for this 12 to 4 watch, and I'm excited to get to the bottom. The, I've sort of been not monitoring the delta quite as closely as I should. I know. It's good to have you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> if you turn... I do. Actually, video, could you do that? That's a good exercise. Yep. Just add, do you hear what we're hearing? Just some static? It's not really static, it's like we're rubbing. It's like the microphone rubbing sound, like a light one. Do you hear that? I don't hear that. Oh. Hmm, rats. Also, I don't I hear, hear that back here, so. Yeah, I, I don't hear that over here. I don't think I do either. Do. I heard it. There was a mic plugged in at this table, unplugged, okay. but if you're still hearing it, I'm not sure. I do still hear it. That is very strange. I don't hear it now. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's roll. <laughs> There's a ghost in this room, I swear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, I hear it a little bit. That was, yeah, that was okay. me. That was me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's roll. Let's finish introductions here. Where were we? I don't know. Front row. Anyone, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, I will start. My name is Nia Beckler. I am sitting now. Um, yeah, that's who I am. <laughs> I'm Gabby Inglis. I'm sitting here. Hi, I'm Kylie Pasternak. I am sitting Argus. Hello, my name is Ryan Leung. I am from Westbury, Long Island, New York, and I am video engineer. How are conditions, Nev? Uh, conditions look good. We're at about 12 knots of wind. Um, got... It sounds like they made a heading change on the last watch. Okay. Um, and we're right into the forces now and they're pretty close together, but we'll see how that holds Okay. Uh, as we continue. Um, and we've got a pretty light surface current, but nothing crazy. No. <laughs> Did you turn off SPL? Muting. Okay, Raj.
Yeah, I hear it too. Well, you're also listening to people though. Maybe it's the bridge. That makes so much sense because we are not listening to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I was about to ask what option the bridge was. <laughs> yeah. Bridge nav. Uh, have you have you left your mic on up there? We were hearing some background sort of rubbing sounds, but we're just trying to identify from where. Raj. Uh, Raj. Raj, Raj, Raj. Um, can you do me a favor? Yes. And not, and maybe only adjust your range on that every 100 meters or yeah. 50 meters or something like that? Yeah. Great. I can call it out too. I'll let you know when I adjust yeah. it. It's, I mean, it's okay. I can figure out what's going on. It's just hard I know. to re. Every time. Hi, Megan. Happy to see you on the chat. Megan Cook? Yeah. Hi, hey, Megan. Megan. <laughs> I hear someone saying, female watch, female watch, female watch. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> We're making some history. All right, so when we get squared away on the bottom, we're going to try to do a 4K video test. OK. Um, and then as we start moving along, we're going to keep our eyes peeled for some good rocks. So basically on this, on this dive, we're going to try to pick um, two rocks every 200 meters. So basically where we first sit down, and then as we move our way up, I have Doppler lock. Gosh. We're going to be looking for that ferromanganese crust for corally, and then a more angular basalt for amber. Raj. So very different types of rocks, but those are those are the rocks we're looking for. Getting close to the flinch. Yep. 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 Where are we every two hundred meters. Yep. So when we first sit down, and then around 3,300, and then 3,100, and 29. Slowing down. Roger. We're about 100 meters off the bottom right now. So nav, at those depths, we want to anticipate um, stopping the ship and getting rid of the layback and having some time to find the right rock. Roger that. And then as far as the biological sampling, we'll just kind of keep our, our eyes peeled if there's a lot of a specific organism or characteristic coral or sponge of interest, um, but we don't have specific depths for those. We're just going to look around as we go and get some good images and, and video. And if it's possible um, for us to do a push core in the areas we're collecting rocks or in other areas, we can, we can think about doing that, but I'm not sure if we're going to see something that works for us. Okay. For our arrangement in the front row, for the... Uh First half of the watch, we're gonna have me on the in the pilot seat and Kylie on the arm, and we'll see about swapping that uh, about halfway through. And we'll come to I'll stop on the winch at 50 meters. Roger. Ryan, I think maybe when Dave gets up here, the first thing to look at is what's going on with that background noise. Gotcha.
Yeah, it's probably like the one of the other mics on the ship is, is probably hot. Yeah, and maybe in the somebody, lounge. Yeah, the lounge or the data lab or something. I have the lounge off and I hear it. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, you know. they can be forced talking you. Oh, right. So even if you're not listening, it can be okay. a hot mic somewhere else, yeah. Um, I'll stop at 50. Roger that. I'll head down. Roger. On the last watch, they were discussing methane seeps. And someone wants to know, have there been any seeps discovered where there were none before, to your knowledge? Well, a lot of um, our methane seep exploration cruises in the past were really exciting because there hadn't been worked on there, so the exploration was was new. Um, so a lot of what we were seeing was was pretty shocking about how many seeps there were on the California coast. The Cascadia margin area in particular is where we've done our methane seep exploration. Um, but have we seen kind of a random methane seep in an area we really wouldn't have expected it and somewhere we've been before and didn't see it and then saw it. I, I'm not sure about that. Mm. Um, but certainly seeps are known to turn kind of like on and off. So we've been back to places in the Cascadia margin after having visited them before or other cruises and seen some seeps turn that were really active are no longer active. And then we've seen some areas that we didn't see seeps before have, have them, but I, I would say that those that region was kind of expected to have um, a lot of seeps and kind of dynamic changes over short periods. Okay. I got you in down cam. Awesome. I'll just get out front. Let's get, when you're comfortable, we can get an Argus view on the, Roger. on the monitors. Oops, that's not it. <laughs> you might just be able to hit dive salvo. Rog. When you're ready, we can head down. What's on your mind? Well, do we want the storage drum anywhere bigger? Um, are we off that? Uh, are we off of that flange? Um, we're like in coming off of it. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, Raj. We can watch it on the smaller. Okay, I'm ready. To, I'm gonna change the range on the um, sub bottom. Absolutely. And uh, ready to come down when you are. Okay, head down. Okay, Raj. I'm 26 meters up. Raj. How does the change in pressure as the ROVs ascend affect the samples we collect? Science? Um, well, it depends on the samples. Mm. If, if it's a rock, um, it's not really going to make a big difference. Um, and depending on the biology, some 
some corals and sponges, it's not going to make a big difference about the pressure. It's more the temperature that's mm. going to be our main difference. But any creatures with swim bladders um, are going to definitely feel the pressure difference since um, they're used to an environment that is quite different than what we're used to up here on the surface. Yeah. Have there been any new lights added to the back of Herc? To the back of Herc? No, not to the back. There have definitely been new lights added to the front of Herc as well as new cameras, mm. which is going to be one of these things that we're actually going to test right off the bat here. I'm all stop at 20 meters. Roger that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. would uh, you want to do a DVL reset? Yeah, let's do it. Um, all my autos are off, so go when you're ready. Roger that. Wait. Uh, we we did. Um, oh, hello. Hmm. Did it change? <laughs> What's happening there? Oh, with it, yeah. Let's try again. I think it just got reset to the wrong spot. To Herc? Yeah. Let's get Herc back centered up on USBL and do a DVL reset again to wherever it next shows up. All my autos are off. Reset Roger, to so ins yeah, there you go. Yeah, and then yeah, that's fine. We can we can use that for. Did you do a reset to that source? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I am ready when you are. Okay, I'm gonna put her on dead rig. Yep. So actually, I think you might want um, keep the master position source at USBL. Okay. Um, do your Doppler reset to cursor or to USBL source, and then you can switch it over to DVL. Right? Is that the order of operations, sir? Um, we have master position source and marker to solution dead rec, and then enable DVL reset and cursor. Okay. But well, and um, that doesn't seem to be doing what we wanted to do. So. Well, the pro I think just the problem we're having is that the DVL is like so far off that map, you can't even see. Maybe you know what? Do master position to uh, to to Doppler, and then center your map on the ship, mm -hmm. and then click your do master position uh, or sorry do DVL reset source uh, to cursor. There you go. Now do DVL reset to cursor. So do you see what happened there? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the vehicle disappeared. Um, yeah, the vehicle disappeared because it went to that DVL spot. Mm -hmm. and that DVL spot was centered on God knows where, probably the last place we dove, okay. which is not where we are. Um, so all we did was go back to, so the vehicle, as soon as you did master position source to, um, to DVL, the vehicle went to, I don't know, Kingman Reef or wherever we were last. Yep. Um, but that's not where the USBL is. So we, so the vehicle went off in left field and we can no longer see the ship in the, am I, do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? I okay. understand what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Now you can do your reset. All right, centering on cursor. Let's see, we're kind of bumping around a little bit here. Video 
Um, can I get a small bump in on the Argus, uh, Zeus, and see if we can uh, get past those? Yeah, a little more, a little more. Keep going. That's good. Hold there. Thank you. And I'll center it in the picture. Okay. Well, yep, I'm as ready. Center ready? As I can get. Yep, I'm okay. ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. All right, we've reset the cursor. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Um, Gabby, just FYI, I'm bumped in a little bit just to get past I saw that. that. Okay. Um, maybe try switching off a light or some. Like, you can play around with lighting, too. Um, but we don't have to do that right now I because... I was it was the lens. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the housing? I think it's and the housing on the okay. top right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so next we've got... So things we have left to do. Um, there's going to be a 4K video test, I think, as part of housekeeping. We've got to move the scoop around a little bit. Um, and we've got to do white balance. Does anyone have any opinions about what order that happens in, Dave, in particular? Um, I could just say the 4K test can be last. Okay. After you get everything else buttoned up. Dave, would you rather... Oh, right. He's about to get... Do you want to do white balance first, or we've also got some housekeeping to do on the porch? Where are you at? Ryan? Awesome. Okay. Ryan, what do you got? Would you rather, um, do you have do some more work to do or do you want to get straight to video stuff? I'm ready for white balance. Let's do it. Okay. Um, Take this also, off. Seeking is off if you would like it on. Oh, yeah. Let's turn it on. Okay, Raj. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Show's yours. Raj. Um, and you can just. Uh, Actually, you know what? Hold what? Time out. Time out. I'm going to get the stool and I'm going to sit there. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Um, so I'll go off SPL since you're not on it. So, reset. Okay. Um, I think so. I'll go over it with Aaron later, get a better understanding. Okay. Should be Doppler. Yep, okay. Just holler out with what you need with the cameras. So the first thing we're going to do is um, white balance, so we can be racked out for that. It's actually probably preferable. Okay. Hold on. Nope. We're just taking care of some housekeeping here. And then we've got to get the arm out into place. And then it'll be your show, Ryan. Just give us, we'll give it a sec to settle out. And OK, whatever you need. Um, can you go full wide, make sure uh, Herc Zeus is full wide? Excellent. Yep. 
I think it's going to be a drunken bubble. But it'll at least give you a sense of whether you're getting close to it. So all you're trying to do here is get the white patch into the light. I think like that. I'll line up on it. Excellent. Okay, Ryan, it's your show. Thank you. And we'll probably, I, there might still be some drift in, in, the, um, in the camera controls, in which case we just have to go fast, I guess. Then. Oh. Everything's going back. Okay. So now can I click it up? Okay. All set. Okay, great. Yep. Maybe. <laughs> Very slowly I can rack back. What's that? Oh, yeah. Let me, I'll get this sort of worked out here and just check to make sure we're all the way in. Okay. If you want, we can also get the 4K, but I think that's more, I don't think that's on the porch. <laughs> Do it. Can we turn the 4K camera on, please? Roger that. And do you guys want the sexton on as well? Um, yes. It, it's already on. Okay. And so for the 4K, I think, um, I think I saw some rocky outcrops right nearby, if it's possible that we do our test where we have something to look at other than sediment, that would be great. Mm -hmm. But if you prefer to just do it, do it now, we can also do that. No, that's great. Okay, great. Nice job. I like that attack with the um, elbow out and reaching into the porch. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remind me what our baseline for weather is? Uh, yeah, we've got it up right here. Um, I mean, uh, sorry, what what we've got right now? Ah, of like, yeah, 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 yeah. That seems really chill. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got right now around 11 knots wind um, and about a two and a half meter swell out there. Okay. Um, and the forces are lined up great. So awesome. we're just right into them. Looks like you're free of the zip tie. Uh, 
Um, it's going to be this button right here. Yes, I can. There you go. You've got it. About what? No. No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this really reminds me of those little toy machines. Nice job. Yeah. Nice grab. Beautiful. <laughs> you still got the zip tie on there. Yeah. Hey. Beautiful grab. Beauty. Nice. Is that a face on the scoop? Yes, it <laughs> sure is. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Beautiful grab. Nice job. Okay. Roger. Our first sample. <laughs> oh, there's all sorts of party tricks in here already. <laughs> okay. It's not a sample. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to note that it was put in there. Okay. okay. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> I mean, it's exactly what we were looking for. <laughs> so if you want to, oh, if you hold on for a second, halt yourself, and let's take a quick look at how the elbow is related to all the lights above us. Because this is kind of one of those places where you got you can get hung up for a second. It's not the end of the world, but it can be it can happen. So that's where you're at. So I don't need any more shoulder up, I will down. Okay, sounds good. Great. Nice job. Yep. Yeah, totally. Okay, get her done. Just azimuth out of the oh, porch. No. It's okay. Just <laughs> azimuth out of the porch and tilt yourself and uh, uh, yaw to the left. As you, but azimuth out at the same time. You still got it. You still got it. And azimuth out. There you go. Nice one. Now just dump it in. Very good. <laughs> Beautiful. Great job. Gorgeous job. That was very stylish. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you have won the game. That was very stylish. Nice and done. Okay. Scoop's going to go back on the magnet. Roger. 
I am awaiting your commands for things, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's really slow. We're also very deep. This is probably, I don't know, this has got to be one of our deepest dives, so. According to Steve, this will be our deepest dive within the uh, Kingman and Palmera unit of the monument. That's right. Making a little history. Okay, this is always a fun one. There's no great views of the magnet, and uh, you just sort of do it. Yep. Nice. Yeah, sure do. Yeah. Yes, beauty. Gorgeous. Well done. Okay. You're getting lots of applause in the chat. <laughs> Some people are saying fierce scoop. Um, let's make sure, uh, so you're gonna want, if we're gonna fly off, you'll want your, yeah, get the jaws closed and get the shoulder up and it's a little down right now. And you don't actually need to sort out the wrist. You can leave the wrist real casual because it'll just drop into place. Yep. Beautiful. Very slick, very slick. Lots of applause in the chat, lots of nice applause. Nice one. Okay. Oh, I suppose you can have your camera back. <laughs> uh, science, did you get your, um, 4K video stuff. Oh, you want to go up to an outcrop, right? Yeah, if that's possible. Um, I think there we, should be one to the right. Yeah, when we first got down on bottom, I could see pretty clearly that there was a big basalt area nearby. Okay. I think, yeah, it does I look I can off see to the some right. outcrops on the sonar. Yeah. So we can head to those? Yeah, let's just go somewhere nearby and we'll do a quick video test and then we'll start heading to our waypoint. Okay. They're about 20 meters out. Um, oh, these look Ooh. fine. Let's use these guys. Great. Wow. This is actually a really cool rock. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I get the 4K up on a monitor somewhere so that I can line up properly? <laughs> um, yes. Wow. Trying to figure out where that would be good for you, Gabby. You can give, take the up, upstairs Argus one away. Um, let's, I think, I'm not sure we okay, can. Whatever one you want. Let's, okay. let's do, they've been doing the downstairs. Okay, I think Raj, it's your move. I'll, I can do it. Yeah, it's your oh, move. Raj. There it is. There you go. Beauty. Okay. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Is this it? This yeah. is gorgeous. That's quite the density of, of crinoids and corals on there. Yeah, it's a great, great spot for them yeah. to get in the current. And that's a nice angular rock. It's a really nice <laughs> angular rock. Think we can collect it? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little big for us, but I'm want... under strict instructions to stick to baked <laughs> potato size. <laughs> <rocks>. <laughs> it looks like there's one in the um, bubble cam, maybe. 
Yeah, even that might be a bit too big. Big, yeah. Only if our baked potatoes are angular. Would yeah. You, would you like lasers on? They will not show up in the. Oh, for to help with scale. Yeah. Potato scales. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think we're doing a 4K test. Oh, raw, 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 raw. Okay, 4K people. Oh, nice. So that was me Ooh. back here. If that's Great. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, so. Wow. So I am now, I think, controlling. Yes. Woo! Sorry. I was <laughs> it's okay. just getting used to this Xbox controller. Mm -hmm. Oh, there <laughs> might even be a sponge or a tunicate or something oh, down there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Pretty. There's a lot down here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of us expected this. No. Video, do you have 4K going out right now? Is that something that can be done? We can't send it out as 4K, but we can send a version of it out. Yeah, I just mean the 4K camera. Um, just because that's the thing I'm lining up. Okay. Send it out over the satellite you're talking yep, about. Yep, totally. Okay. All right. Oh, here, hold on just a second. Let me do this. Let me go. Why do I not have what I want here? This is so cool, controlling a 4K camera with an Xbox controller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess scientists are now gamers back here. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, scientist was always a gamer. Oh, look, there's so little octa rolls over here. Wow. Uh huh, on the underside. Oh, yeah, good eye. Gorgeous. So that's Get a little bit closer. There's a few things, a tunica maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um. one thing that you'll notice with this camera is that if I'm moving, and so basically, if you're really zoomed in, I'm always going to be moving, it yeah. starts to look a little grainy. It doesn't deal with movement well. So I think it's going to be at its best at like a half zoom. Okay. I think we're around there now. And another time it's going to be really great is when I'm actually like perched on a rock and like I can keep things really steady. There's always like just a little bit of movement when I'm floating. Okay. Um, video, I'm not sure if you're, you know about this, but on my controller it says I have zoom, iris, and focus, but I'm only seeing that the zoom seems to be working. Dave, are you talking on comms? Or I can't, I can't hear auto, you. Back. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, iris should be an auto shutter priority, and focus should be an auto. Okay, okay. So that all you do have is... So all I'm doing is zoom, right? Do you have the display in front of you or just... No, I only have the the controller, the Xbox controller. Okay. Well, then uh -huh. we'll What's on your mind? We'll hope that it's set. Um, you might have to go to Windows. I mean, auto is fine if... Or, if, sorry, view. If that's preferable. And, uh... uh yeah, we, we need it to specifically be in... It should uh, be, uh... Auto iris shutter priority and... Mm -hmm. There's going to be uh, a place, there it is, that's the one, applications, and okay. go to the one that's both sub-bottom and be, sonar. I'm not sure where the control panel is underneath you somewhere. No, no dice? Maybe... Amber, give me a thumbs up when I can mark the highlight for the 4K tip. You can also try restarting the application. Um, also, this, uh, that window, that sub-bottom window may actually be up, and it's just hidden. Okay. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. There are these really delicate little corals here. They are. You can almost not see them. I know. I'll try and get in a little closer. So, um, so when we're ready, video, um, we're going to do a three second capture and test our, with the 4K. Yep. Roughly three seconds. Roughly three seconds. Yep. So I think this spot looks good to me to do this test. So basically, whenever you're ready, we can we can go ahead. Okay, and recording, and stop. That was at 2255.37. Great.
All right, so I think we're all set with our 4K test here. Okay. So when you folks are ready, um, and Nav, when you're ready, we can start working our way towards our, our waypoint. Nav, do you have the new waypoints that Steve prepared? Uh, yeah, Roger. Megan loaded them in. Okay, perfect. All right, so we are ready to step up. Oh, okay. Slope a bit? Sorry, stand by. On the, okay. Um, so we're, we've, uh, we'd like to take a Niskin actually before we get moving. Okay. Um, and if we can just get some regular Herc HD zooms on some of these uh, corals that we were just looking at. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah. And totally. is this a fish or something that's right in front of us? Do it's you, moving pretty slowly. Do you want a Niskin up over the rock for eDNA? What's on your mind? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Sounds good. I'll set us up for that. Kylie can grab it. Perfect. Does the 4K camera have a mechanical or a digital zoom? Uh, it has an optical zoom. Optical. It, has, uh, it has both, but we're not using digital zoom because it uh, adds quite a bit of noise uh, to the picture, so we're using optical only. Got it has it. a uh, 12 we by We might zoom. want to try porch for this. So video, we've added porch light for this Got it. Niskin thing. For you. Okay. Okay, great. I'm going to fly this one live because the Doppler is going to be very weird up over this feature. Great. Yeah, get ready. Get ready to go. All right. Yeah, absolutely. First sample. Is what top down? Oh, yeah. One is the top, but I think one is the back, Niskin. We'll see. So, you see where those are? I'll follow you in. One thing you might try doing is when you press the uh, blue button, get in the habit of having the jaws held, yeah, held close. It's hard to remember, I nearly always forget, but it's a good habit to get into. What do you all think the what's caused the white markings on the rock? That's um that's just sediment. Just sediment. Yeah. These rocks have been here for quite a while. This is definitely a place where things are gonna get blown out. We've got a lot of lights on. Are we full wide on Zeus? Okay. Great, thanks for checking. I understand. You can actually go down to six if you would like, if that makes you feel a little like more secure. Like that very bottom one, it's not, it's not easier to grab the top one. I agree, it's very freaky. Um, you can do this without opening them. And I actually, I actually recommend it. And then you're going to want to, oh, I'll let you figure it out. OK, watch your wrist on the sexton.
Okay. So it's not actually going to be wrist down. It's going to be pitch. Uh, sorry, it's going to be yaw right. But yes, a little elbow up and a yaw right, and that's going to get your wrist down in there. Beauty. Now a little yaw right gets your wrist down there. Nice, beautiful job. And then you're going to do this with the rocker switch. You're going to do this entirely with a wrist rotate. Yeah, nicely done. Get in there. Yep. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Now, um, now you're going to azimuth out. There you go. Got it. Now this is a little bit of finessing um, with your uh, wrist rotate and a little bit of other jogs around. Six. Yep. Okay. Did you did you get it here too? Perfect. I'm just gonna be lifting up and rotating, and you'll get right out of there. Beautiful. Super smooth. One three. So seven. nice. Mm -hmm. So nice. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Is there any delay between the input and response of Hurricane Argus? Um, the information travels at pretty much the speed of light. Mm. Thank you. Great job. Beauty. That was our first sample of this cruise. Good one. Yay. Yay. Yeah. All right. Um, could we get some zooms on some yeah, of these? Yeah, absolutely. These guys, great. And we'll also keep our eyes open for any rocks around here that might be useful. Roger, useful rocks. <laughs> things that we can <laughs> things that we can pick up. Things that are angular or uh, crusty. And for either one, for them to be uh, either totally free of sediment or mostly free of sediment. Exactly. Yep. Angular or crusty rocks. So for this one, Kylie, I think yes. I want to do a little trial with porch light versus not porch light for sure. zooms. Yeah. So if you can sort of be on that button so we oh, can just try it. things. I love that button. Yeah. I live on that button. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> I agree. It's a good button. Okay. You want to look at that uh, maybe sponge? Yep. Um, yep. We're going to go for this one right here. We want to look yeah. at that. Do you want lasers on? Uh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, video, go for zoom. Going. We're going for that sponge there. Watch your iris on the sponge. Great. Those are very wispy branches. Indeed. More? Do you guys have what you need here? Zoom wise, um, you want a little more. Let's uh, zoom out just a little bit, and tr let's try to get one of the whole, the whole coral. Okay, coral. Oh, coral, not sponge. Yeah, coral. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was going for the sponge. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what about those octa corals? Yeah, those, those are, are pretty gorgeous. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You have some good screen grabs. All set? Oh, yeah, I got a bunch. Okay, great. <laughs> Um, Steve, are you interested in sampling this coral? Uh, 
Actually, yeah. I would like a small branch of it. Okay. All right. So, yeah, pilots, we're going to try to get a small snip of that, that wispy coral right in front of us. Okay, great. And so for the, the forward bio boxes, that, that's going to lose water when we get to the surface. Is that right? Yeah. So we'll have um, to put this in the starboard side? Or? There's actually a little bit of debate about that. Oh, um, right. So there's two acrylic boxes in there that are set up to hold water. Ooh, look at this little crab. Yeah. yeah. Um, wow. So those two are set up to hold water. And um, Steve, maybe you can give us some insight. One had a crack in it. Do you know whether that crack was repaired or which side it might be on? Uh, I don't know which side it was placed on, but it was repaired, but it still drips. Um, okay. Yeah, but uh, Does I mean, that make it, it a no-go? Yeah, you can still put it in there. Video, uh, can I you go full wide? W with this collection, it actually might be better to snip and slurp. You okay. That. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah we can definitely piece. do that. Have okay. you ever done a snip and slurp? No. Heck yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a snip and slurp. Okay. Let me slurp. figure out how to set up for this, though, because it's a little, Gosh. it's a weird one. It's going to be like right up in our faces. All up in our grills. Yeah. Science team, can y'all recap with the audience? What are we sampling and what information does it tell us? Rock. The, we are really nice if I could sit down on something, but it's kind of looking like that. This bamboo coral yeah. that has some. It might be a. What we're calling some wispy branching right now. And Actually, it looks like maybe it's just it kind of weird looking. Yep. <laughs> so we kind of want to collect it so that we can, or so a scientist can find out what it is. I think it's also unusual to see these at this depth, but we have Steve um, with us on, on comm. So Steve, do you have anything else to add? He's our chief scientist on this cruise. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a few reasons why we might want to sample things at this depth. There's, um, there's only a handful of species that are actually known from below 3,000 meters in, in U.S. waters uh, from this part uh, of Can the world. Can you pan a little so, right on bubble? You know, anything yeah. we sample here, uh, small pieces of it, uh, preferably, is, is valuable information. Uh, I just want to see what my porch um, is going to land that on helps here. Us oh, right. Because we're going to like perch on this little depth. marble over here. But on the, the right hand time, side? Yeah, you can't like really pan right. Uh, you know, so we just took Yeah, no, I know. It's fine. I just want to make sure DNA. I line up properly for it. We're also trying to understand to what extent these animals shed detectable genetic material into the water column. Okay. And so if we under if we know who this animal is based on, you know, its morphology or its you know, genetic profile, we can look for it in the environmental DNA sample. Thank you for that, Steve. Oh, we got a, sorry, we got a crying right here. Yeah. <laughs> we may have an inadvertent sample here. It's also another crab down there just sitting out, chilling in the sediment. Mm -hmm. There is not a great place to sit down for this. We may okay. be flying live for it. Raj. I've so heard that that's not a great thing for uh, <laughs> coral sampling. You snip, it falls, and then you slurp? Because you got to pick up the slurp. No, oh, you, there he slurp. goes. Yeah. Crinoid is free. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> you got stuck in the light bar. Yeah. The brutal star waved at us as it passed. <laughs> This is a pretty challenging little sampling site here. There's not really a great place to put the light bar. There's not a great place, like it's overhung, so there's not a great place to put the bottom. We can... <sighs> How much of this sample do you want? How much of this coral do you want, Steve? Uh, about 10 centimeters of the okay. branch would be great. If it's in a really impossible place, then we'll settle for some imagery and, and move on. Um, let me get an, let me give it another try, an approach from the side maybe. I don't want to get in too close because it'll make it impossible to get the arm out. Right, but right, right, right. This is like the side where there is a way to get to it, so. Can you put the bumper, uh, the camera, the uh, bubble cam back to normal? Thank you. Uh, 
The thing that caught my eye about the sample was the, the first branch that the colony does is a, a triple branch. Uh, so if you look at the first branch point, it's got uh, two branches coming off the node, which is really interesting. Hmm. Is that unusual for this kind of bamboo coral? Not necessarily for bamboo. Well, most bamboo corals usually will either branch once or, or not at all at the node. Um, but some of them, one particular genus, does tend to have triple branch mm. superpowers. <laughs> And would that branching be kind of advantageous to get in more of the current and for more feeding? Not sure. Here? Not sure. Um, yeah, we. One of the things that we don't know about bamboos more, is why they branch where they do. Yeah. Uh, in fact, that's something Mary can probably sample. tell us more Wrong. about. <laughs> that's right. So how yeah, I'm a graduate student looking at bamboo corals and looking at. Oh, one that all, does its own there. funky okay. branching. <laughs> so it's just a group that likes to branch in odd ways and is a mystery to us that we're trying to figure out. Well, we're also a group a video? <laughs> branching in odd ways. <laughs> and this is the bamboo core right here, right? That's right. Yes. Let's get yeah. a nice zoom on this right here because I've got a good sort of perch. And yeah, that's a great shot. Yeah. Beautiful. Is there like a little encrusting sponge or something right below it? it there is. Mm -hmm. It looks like it. Are those are those little worms off to the left? I can't see. Oh. What are those? Yeah, the, and the, on the rock surface, there's some serpulid worms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Those are so cute. Great, great shot. Okay, uh, can we go wide? I'm gonna try one more for positioning, just to get a little further back. It's not up in the light bar. Now that I'm got that zoom, I would think I was actually looking at some uh, some kind of optical illusion. It doesn't look like it has a very clear triple branch, but uh, rather it looks like it's still branching on the nodes. But it's very difficult to see. Sometimes the deeper the bamboo corals are, the more faint the node color is. And so it's sometimes hard to see where that branch is relative to the node. And we are 3,489 meters in depth. Is that correct? Uh, I think we're 3,477 meters. Um, I think this might be a really big reach. I think it's the best angle I've got on it. Okay. So, I feel like one of the other guys would look at this and be like, oh yeah, you definitely can, or do you definitely can't, and I honestly don't know for sure whether you can or not. You so, try? you want to get the arm out there and see if you can get the reach? Yeah. Yes, I do. Um, this is moving really slow. Is it okay if I use bubble to get you a view of the arm? Yeah. It just takes so long to yeah. reset it. Yeah, you got it. What? You don't need that. Uh, right. Wait, what? No, this first. Don't worry about it. We're okay. good. Raj. <laughs> Roger. Okay. Here. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Are the nodes paler in so light because know, of sorry. the lack of light in the deep? Uh, this is just going to be. Or are there other factors of, to it? Just getting the arm out sorry. and sort of figuring out where it is in space uh, and poking around. On a bamboo coral about the nodes. I have a sneaking suspicion this uh, is going to be a no go. The nodes are. Uh, I'm not sure why they're. But fainter in the deep water. Nice job being aware of that. But they're made up of. Just a they vary a lot between bamboos and they're just made up of protein basically. And so that's what gives them that darker color. But again, I'm not sure why it is. 
you for depth. Nice job. Beautiful. Good job. Here, I can look down at it and give you another view as well. It's just going to take a while. Okay. Uh, I'll give you porch light. Raj. You see yourself. Beauty. Okay. Where am I? Raj. Okay. Can you look up with me? Mm -hmm. um, before you move again, yeah. let's think about where your elbow and your shoulder are real quick. Yeah. So I'm all the way shoulder up and it's like... So okay, like so we're at... Yeah, okay. Okay. So that might... Let's I, I can shoulder down and then adjust. Yeah. Yeah, that might be the way to go because I can't see yeah, whether gonna you're going to clear down. anything over there. Shoulder down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there you go. Pitch down. Um. Mm -mm. Stop. Okay, I'm in. So it's, it's not going. Yeah. Down. So think about this again. So you're going to want your wrist pitch down. Okay. Yeah. That's here. Yeah. That's going to be the movement. Okay. But I wanted to shoulder down and it wasn't going. That's going to be here. Yeah, so and I had it all the way back to like let, give myself the movement, right? Okay. So, so I'm all the way back. Mm -hmm. I unengage and I'm going down with it. Uh-huh. So you might be caught. You're actually a little stuck. Okay. So, so how that's going to be an azimuth out. Okay, right. Azimuth out. Yeah, there you go. Now you can elbow down. Elbow down. That's Oh, shit. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Are you halted? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm just going to get out of here real okay, quick. Okay, Raj. You're good. We're just going to take a look at how things are. It's okay. Okay. We don't know what's going on until we've taken a look. Raj. No, I'm not even gonna. I am indexed. Ooh, Chris Kelly says he might have seen a carnivorous tunicate. I think that might be that big circular guy right there. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's get away from the rocks. Raj. And I'm going to go into autos. Mm -hmm. So that, and we're going to get ourselves some nice viz. So you had a lot of shoulder down commands in there. Okay. And they all, as soon as you got free, free they all went in. Really? They all happened. Okay. Hmm. Um, so we're going to get some shoulder up commands in there, but okay. not until we're nice and settled out and can see pretty well. Okay. Okay, good? Yep. I'm ready for you. Okay. There you go. Let's take a quick look at our jaws. Work on the draws. What's on the bottom of the shoulder? I'm sorry? You see that There's, black pad? Yeah, it's the pad that covers the ram when you get the wrist back in. Okay. So you want me to open and close the draws? Yeah. Okay. Nice job. Amber, what's the carnivorous so tunicate? Steve? 
Oh. Um, I'm oh. going to say that this is like not a great place. It's a. It's not really a place that the arm is set up to sample very well, and it's okay. kind of awkward. Yeah, Steve's Steve stepped out, but okay. Um, but yeah, that that's fine. Um, but we can get more shots of it for sure. I think we got some pretty good yeah, images I already. I got a lot. Yeah, so I think we're fine with that. But if we could take a look at, there's a couple of other things we'd like to get some good images on, and then we'd also like to look for a rock. Okay, sounds um, great. So if we could get some zooms once things settle out on some of these like smaller, uh, wispy corals. I think they were off to the left. And then we'll get a nice zoom on one of the crinoids as well. Okay. Then we can look around for an angular rock. I didn't know that it would do that. How much closer would you like? Just a few meters? 10 meters? Okay. Oh. To be right over top. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm just gonna measure it off really quick. Uh, can we step the ship 10 meters at a 033 bearing? Roger, thank you. Okay, I'm going to take a look at some of these. Great. So yeah, so we could get a zoom on that crinoid off to the left. So I can, so this guy maybe, sure, um, or that one. Any of these crinoids, or this one, whichever one is easier for you to get a nice zoom on. Okay, they should all be about equal. I think we can see like the the center of this one the best. Go for zoom video. Yep. Let's, yeah, um, we can try it. Uh, sorry, I was off Somebody the scale. I'm going to turn off porch. That's a little better. I think that... Let's see. How are you doing with video, uh, with uh, captures of this one? Pretty good, I think. Okay, sorry, I was a little quiet there. Okay, go wide video. Okay, what's next? All right, so I think over here or there, those little sticks that you see sticking out of the rock, these mm -hmm. little ones, if we could get a zoom on some of those. Okay. Um, I think they're kind of around different sides of the rock, so whichever area is better for you to get down in. Still just a bit stretched out. Argus yeah. hasn't really started its move yet, but I think we can get in there. What do you think those sticks are? Do you have any idea? Uh, in the chat, maybe it, um, they were saying maybe a bamboo coral, but yeah. I'm not too sure. Well, I some of them look like potentially whipped from noids, but I don't know about the small ones we're trying to go look at. Yeah, I think if we zoom in on them, we'll get a better sense, but Steve seemed to think that they're quite common and something we've seen in this region before, but we just want to get a double check by zooming in. Okay, right. go for zoom video. 
Sorry about the viz. We'll be we'll be sitting here a while to wait for it, so I just thought I'd get a start. You can come down a little bit more. Yeah, Raj. Just keep an eye on it as we as Argus starts to creep closer. Yeah. Um, is it okay if I just use bubble quickly to check the gauges? Absolutely. Raj. Ryan, you're doing an excellent job. It's a little tricky right now and you're doing really well. Is that a squat lobster that's in there? I think it might be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the octocoral or whatever that is. Being, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you said a squat lobster? Yeah, yeah, so we're not looking at it. Oh, there it is right there to the left. There almost looks to be a little shrimp or lobster that might actually have a coral on top of it. Mm. It's right at the very top and kind of out of Go view Go a little now. wider video. Data, so how do you feel about right some of there. those, or do we want to wait till this clears out? Cool. Um, did you get some screen grabs? I did. They do have. Yeah. I don't know. The sediment kind of blown up in it, but um, let's maybe wait just okay. another moment. Let's, let's go look around a little bit while we're waiting. Yeah. This is just kind of the area. Sure. Can you go wide video? Yep. This is the area where that, where the arm hit the ground. So. Oh, I think Steve is happy with those shots. Okay. Okay. Great. So, um, we've got these, this stuff around the left side here. We can take a look at. Yeah. For the rocks. Yeah. Over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, we can go over there. I was looking at the wispy stuff on the left side. Ah, yeah. I actually, there is a rock over on the left side that I wanted to ask if it had a good, um, how big it was. It's not in screen right now though. Okay. It's still a little bit further off to the left. Uh, okay. So it is. This guy. Oh, that, that actually is, looks way too big now that I'm looking really at it. That's really big. <laughs> but that actually looks kind of nice as well. I see if we a could. kind of big big potato here. What about over here? <laughs> then yeah, let's go and and let's let's take a look see. How would this particular rock ended up on its own like that? Like mm -hmm. how did it separate? Um, thing? Let's go. We'll go in and get this rock. Um, then I just want to do a quick check on like what our our progress is like versus what we need to do for this watch. Sure yep. thing. <laughs> you mean we can't stay here forever? I, I mean, mean, it would we be should. Fun. This, this block is just great. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't get there yet for this rock. So let's take, let's do a little bit more of our zooms. We're waiting on a vehicle move. No okay, dokie. I'll add another five. <clears throat> I think we've just finished the 10. Okay. So for Bridge how next, this block uh, got here, what I'm thinking is since you see sediment all around it, that this block probably did not actually start here. It probably came from further up in the cliffs on the side of where of the seamount where we are. And over time, cracks develop, creating fractures. Those get bigger and bigger as time passes, and then the rocks start falling. And so this fell from somewhere higher up. Got it. Okay, so you were interested in the bamboo coral over here on this edge? Sure, we can get another zoom, but, um, but yeah, I think I think we're pretty good on on that. So once we're ready to get a rock, okay. we, we can. Um, so these rocks, those on rocks, this side yes. are much okay. That's kind of large. Okie yeah. dokie. Um, I have again, no in a place size. That's, we oh, actually so. can't what get about these? the arm underneath there like that. Yeah. What about things like these little yeah, guys over beauty. here? Yeah, beauty. Those actually look. They don't. They're not actually that small. Oh really? Okay. No, they're going to be about ten centimeters. Yeah. All right. See these lasers? Yeah. Those are 10 centimeters. Yeah. If we could get two like that, I think that probably will satisfy both me and Coralie's sampling for right here. Hey, can you write down that our speed on our uh, pan and tilt is a little bit creepy crawly? Yes. Speed is a slug <clears throat> speed. Right. Oh, now I see. Those are bigger yeah. than they looked. Okay. Speed is slow. Pan and tilt. 
Thanks. It'll be once. Oh, really? Just once? Uh, I mean, we if they're oh. right next to each other, then sure. But if they're in what quite different spots, oh, then... Oh, okay, okay. So if there was one here and one over on the other side... We can the block, count them those... as two, because you're going to be using them differently if you want. Oh, okay. I mean, I it's, up, it's, it's pretty much up to us, but this, okay. this site, pretty much everything around here could be considered, because like if that rock broke in two, it would basically <gasps> be That's the same thing. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Ready? All a rock okay. fall from um, potentially same thing. Can you one. give us, can you circle the rocks you're interested in? Yeah. Oh, okay. that's not a circle. Okay. There you go. Those are over to the side, so I'm going to need to Those. Reset. Sorry. Okay. Or like this one. Here. Oh. Okay, that's You're a little far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these these are my optimals. Okay. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I'll just shift the vehicle over a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like I chose quite the interesting little spot for you. Yeah, <laughs> well. If this isn't a good spot further up, there look actually to be plenty that are quite nice. So yeah, if this is too would be hard, nice to... would it be easier to go somewhere up here? Yep. Then let's go and try that and I'll look for a minute and we can see. Just keep getting caught on that like under ledge thing there. Yeah. So I can't quite see how we are, but uh, how do we want to do this? Do you want me to go ahead and be looking or do you want to kind of get into a sort of position first? How about here? Okay, let's see. That looks like a good one. Okay. And then, that you one's know, like this seven one and that one. Yeah. Yep, those look good. Okay. Nice. Video, can you zoom on Argus? Yep. <laughs> That's good. And Steve wants to remind me that we have a slope increase near waypoint two, so if I don't get something here, I'm all right. <laughs> could you could you mm -hmm. circle them one more time for me? Sure. Let's see. This guy. Yes. And this guy. Okay, Raj. Anytime you need me to do it again, I'll, I'm good to, to play with the teleprompter some more. She likes that tool. Where are these going to go? Ooh, where do we want these? I think we've got we've got everything open, so um, you can put them together in the same box. And Mary, are you fine with them going anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. We yeah. only have a Niskin taken, so all the bio boxes. Yeah, so up to, up to you. Yeah, I guess whatever's easier. I yeah, why don't you put them in the second. forward? Say again? I said I lost bubble for a second. Okay. Why is that? I don't know. But okay. I was just, uh, I'll write it down in the book. Okay. Okay. Circle it again for me. I think I know what one. I just want to, yeah, okay, Raj. Raj, Raj, Raj. Yeah, just think about one at a time. They all look the same. I know. <laughs> to me. <laughs> to me. No, yeah, that's actually good for me, too, because even if it's not those particular ones, they're all looking kind of nice. Okay. Open sesame. Got it. You know what would be cool is to have 4K up on the screen? <laughs> oh, that would be cool. <laughs> um, on video, it. can you do that? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, Thank I you. got it. Oh, it's not as helpful as I thought. Rats. Yeah. Do you want me to zoom at all with the 4K? Would that be helpful? It's, it's not really helping. The, sh um, the okay. shoulder's just in the way. Yeah, gotcha. can you, you can go back to Argus up there. Gotcha. Nia, can you give me 20 meter grid spacing here? Oh, is it stuck? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it moved a little bit. Let me see. It wasn't that big guy, so he's under here somewhere. Let me try the pointy one, right? Let's see. Mm -hmm. You, not you, not you. That one? This, that. Yeah. Oops. Oh, oh no, it was so close. 
Mm -hmm. You pulled it free at least. Now it's up higher, so it should hopefully be a little easier. Come here. Maybe, maybe. Got it. Oh, it's oh. hopping through my fingers. <laughs> 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 Let's try that way. And pilots, we've got another really slight heading change coming in. Roger. There we go. Woo! Excellent. Applause for Kylie. Yeah. Awesome. Great work. This is a wee little yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, he's actually kind it's of small. Sm like a little like russet potato. <laughs> 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 All right. Do you need any um, visual captures of it before I put it in a box? Yeah, let's yes. get a quick zoom. Yes, maybe turn him zoom? sideways. Good for zoom. Okay, I can spin it. Yes, gently. yes. Oh, interesting little guy. Rusty. Yeah. What do you think? All right. Like I'm good. It? Okay. Video uh, come wide. Okay. Are you excited, Amber? <laughs> I am. This is a little guy, but he might have something good inside him. <laughs> what um, box would you like it in? Whatever is going to be go easier for you. Starboard this is this is really up to you guys. Or, okay, uh, let, let's go for the forward because Raj? that might lose its water. Uh, okay. Okay. For rocks. Out. Roger that. Just waiting mm -hmm. for the vehicle stability there. No problem. So generally speaking, the boxes are fairly similar in difficulty to get into. Oh, okay. Um, and it can be really helpful to have that decision just sort of made for us. Um, it's really about how you guys want to mix your samples up. Sounds good. Yep, forward, left or right, whichever I'm gonna you get it in, okay. it's fine. And then for the, the, the second rock that you pick up, we'll put it in the exact same box. I'm sorry, port or starboard side? Let's go for port. Okay, port, Raj. Do you want trunk and bubble? Yes. All right, I have another. Louise. You can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, lots of things. Do you want to take a quick look at the arm? It's kind I, of in a weird spot. I want it to, yes. Your well, elbow is all the way extended, which I think might is be. Is the problem? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's, used to, yeah. Let's take a quick look at it. Here, see what you got. Yes. That's, okay. that's what I'm like, why is <laughs> That's my, why you're fighting it. This is the only joint I'm not moving. Got yeah. it. <laughs> okay, Roger. Okay. So just keep an eye on the uh, sextant as you yes. fix that up. That's why that's why I was getting all stressed. I was like, don't touch the sextant, but make <laughs> it bend that way. You got it. Roger. Go for it. Roger. Bring yourself out and just yeah. set up again. Yeah. Let's start over. Let's start over. Nice. That's Perfect. That's a more natural position Beautiful. to be in. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Right? Yeah. I do like that. Yeah. Thank you, Emma. I'll give you a hint. Pitch down. Okay. Okay. Pitch down. Yeah, lovely. How do you know? 
Oops, I don't have to drive it at the same time, so it's easy to watch. It's way easier to backseat drive than to actually drive. <laughs> <laughs> you can just let it go. When you're over it, you can just let it go. That's the nice thing about rocks. Yeah, <laughs> just drop it. <laughs> if it's a coral, you have to do the nice slide in. Woo! All right. All right, do we Excellent. have time for the second one or should we should we book it? Um, I think if, if it's pi pilots, if it's possible for you to get a quick second one, do you think we could do that? Yep. If, yeah. yeah, what do you think, Kylie? Yeah, yeah. All okay. right. So just exactly what we just did, same, same box. Okay. So Could be I'll slightly larger. I'll, I'll yeah, once it. we finish closing Pandora's lovely box, <laughs> I can uh, start circling. <laughs> so I am no geologist, so what would be a good description for this type of sample for, of a rock? Uh, ah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. would say a yeah. small oh crust yes. encrusted um, small ferromanganese encrusted <laughs> angular basalt. Yeah. Yes. Rock. Megan is on it more than me today. <laughs> <laughs> Collected from large boulder at base of dive. Someone in the audience would like to know why they can't see the telestrator on the screen. Is that possible oh. or no? That is possible. Oh. Um, Video, we can put the Telestrator out instead of Herc HD since they're the same thing, just the Telestrator includes our illustrations. True, there's been so some yeah, so Kylie, whichever one that. of those is easier. Um, actually, Gabby's Or technically, be Gabby, anything, <laughs> whatever's easier. Gabby, someone is giving you a shout out saying you are really in your boss mode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> it's an. <laughs> okay, tell us going huh? on set one. Gabby wants to know who said she's a boss. Oh, oh. It, it's anonymous. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, these look so tiny when in the claw. Was that one all right? Like was it covered in sediment? Or? It was, but I think it was from, from falling. Before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. And all of these have this weird, nice little little Rust. rusting bit on them. So Yeah, that's pretty common for... No, yeah. So maybe this block, the reason it fell, it might have had some... Um... Yeah, let's get a zoom. Yes, please. Video zoom. Go ahead, Zeta Lab. There we go. Ooh, look at that alteration. Nice. Is that yeah, good, Emil bad? Yeah, just came up and let us know. Um, but I will announce it. Um, can you rotate around yeah, to the, the other side? Yeah, rotate to the black portion a bit. I just want to make sure it has enough crust. Okay. Now, are these little things that are on it, that's all the snow? Or is so that something we need to worry about? Are you happy with the other rock going, going to you? This one is for Coralie? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Um, yeah, let's just let's just take it with us. Okay, go away. And I we can, can get other ones go later. Either way, right. for can you tray out yep. for me? Yeah, right now. I'm racking back right now, Raj. so you can tray out. Just go slow so we don't hit the arm. Raj. I'll keep it there. That's fine. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. I can uh, also do that for you if you'd like. Okay. Someone is asking, what is the cauliflower looking thing to the right? Is that a sponge? I can come out more. Oh, um, um, I'm, I'm out not a little sure more. Miss angle. Fine. It could. Oh, you mean the guy that is up towards the top on middle? The yeah, that looks like a sponge. Argus zoom. Oh, come on. thank you. I looked the wrong direction. <laughs> there. Yeah, that's probably a sponge. All right, awesome, excellent. Yay! Good job, pilots. Thank you. You got it. Okay, I'll uh, come in on the box. I'm Gosh. out on the. Coming in. In on the box. So slow. You've got it in bubble. Yeah, I saw that. Thanks. No worries. Great. You're great. Did you 
anticipating each other's needs. I know. <laughs> Yeah, masks off. All oh, we've passed our COVID test. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right. Are we ready to get moving? Let's get moving. Yeah, All let's right. get moving to our what's, waypoint. What's our bearing? What's uh, our movement bearing? We are going to go 333 three, three up this slope right here towards our next waypoint. Um, and is there a particular speed that we would like to go? Um, let's, let's try to go heading towards like 0.3 knots, if that's feeling okay for the pilots, otherwise we can bring it down to 0.2. Let's go 0.3. Okay, we'll start there. Um, and we want to stop at 3,300 for another sampling session, is that correct? Yep. Uh, yeah, and we'll we'll take a look as we go. We right. got this one a little bit early, so um, if we don't see something good at that stop, we'll just keep moving. Right so you that. said 033 or 333? 333. Okay. okay, great. Bridge nav, can we step 200 meters at 333 bearing? <laughs> 200 meters, 200 zero zero meters at bearing 333. Three. Roger, and uh, we, if we can go 0 0.3 knots, that would be great. Thank you. You want to zoom on Argus while I Ooh, is that a by. glass sponge? Hmm. Is, so they will keep it kind of uh, cool and I'll change Or is that just sediment? That might that just be sediment. No, they, yeah, that's just a pockmark. That's good. Okay, um, Argus, our goal is to have your heading at 333. Three, three. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm following you that way. Okay. I'm just keeping you in view. Sounds good. All right, that was a nice little rock to spend more than an hour on. <laughs> I'm a great rock. I'm excited. <laughs> Video, are we full wide on her? Thank you. Just keep it there for a second, and then you can get the vignetting out got once it. I've got, once I'm all set up. Sounds good. Oh, we've got some current here. Oh, wow. It looks like. You're tugging on me. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's there's definitely current. It made things a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult at the rock. Is it possible to monitor audio with the microphone on the ROVs? So. We get asked that a lot, and in theory, yeah, but the vehicle's actually super, super loud. Mm. Um, and uh, so mostly what you're going to hear is the vehicle. Mm -hmm. we've, we've done some really interesting, somebody was asking about um, methane seeps earlier, mm -hmm. and we, we've used hydrophones that we've deployed um, at seep sites, and then we've taken the vehicles elsewhere to get the, the noise of ourselves out of the way and then we go back and pick up the hydrophone again okay, so video, you can zoom past that we can hear hmm. hear it without us Great. getting in the way lovely So it looks like it's going to be this kind of bottom type for a little while, at least one, two, three, four, at least 50 meters of this. Mm. All right. We can just keep moving. Great. <laughs> just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <clears throat> that is what we will do. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we can look at some questions. What are the marks on the seafloor, the ones that are shaped oh, like snakes yeah, or curls? Totally. Trails. These are trails of creatures. <laughs> Critter trails. <laughs> the sediment filter feeding critters. Yeah. Yeah. Worms, holothurians, possibly. 
Lots of little worms, I'm sure. Yeah. Scat. <laughs> 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 They're non-selective feeders, so they just kind of consume all the sediment and then get rid of it, and that's those like lines that you see. They're cleaning the sediment, basically. Mm. <laughs> that's a better way to put it. <laughs> And Steve actually has a little reminder for us for the dive plan. If we happen to see any fish, that if it's possible for us to get a good zoom and an image of the head region and the fins for identification. Roger that. Ah, okay. Ooh, and he says that we just passed a black coral. I did not even see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Heteropath. shoot. Do you, oh, wanna, no. do you want a visual on that? We've got no, we, I think we can keep moving. Okay. Um, don't go back, yeah. Yes, Steve yeah. says do not go back. I, we want to just keep keep making headway, I think. Yeah, keep at this trucking. point, um, Herc is actually waiting on uh, me on Argus. Ah, uh, okay. So, like, we do actually have time. Like, Argus I, is just going to keep trucking as far, like, until we get to waypoint two or wherever you guys want us to stop again. Um, and, you know, if there's, if Herc is way out in front, we have time to do stuff. And if it's not, then we don't. We won't be stopping Argus. There's too much layback. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to go back just okay. because um, I'm not sure if anyone here knows exactly where it was. So. Oh, and I mm -hmm. think that is a fish or an eel that we see up oh, at the yeah. top. I do see it. It might be heading up, but if it's not, e we'll find it. We can always do also a zoom on the just in front of us if we're waiting for Argus, see what we see on the totally. seabed. I'm going to see if I can find this eel. Cool. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I saw him heading up, and mm. he's too fast for us. He's pretty fast. Not very photogenic. He was a little shy. Yeah, camera shy. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it got really murky. Um, that's partially my fault. I've been sitting in one place, and my this is really light sediment. Oh, and we're and just stirring it up. And kind of stir it up, and I'll try and stay a little bit higher. What happened? What's on your mind? The scale. Oh. Are we heading back towards the rock, or is this a different rock? This is a different rock. Ooh. New rock. Yep. I didn't even so know it was possible. So you might, um, if you've got your most recent uh, max tension. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a spurious data point on the LCI 90 or something like that uh, that maxed that out. But um, if you record what you got there, you you might be able to press reset. I did hit reset. Okay. okay. I didn't change anything. I gotta do this one. There's two resets. Found it. It's not that one. It is this one. Okay. What does that plus and minus at the bottom do? Oh, it makes like the time sequence change. I'm just always pulling you around. Sorry about that. That's okay. Marine snow plume. <laughs> Lex. A whole lot. Yeah, I think the I think we're gonna want to work at like three meters here. Some of it's actually from the bottom of Herc as well from setting down. I'm just gonna check my the camera angle for a second video. Don't need to worry about this. Something in Bravo Cam, Bubble Cam, sorry. Oh, yeah, a little critter yeah. in the bottom.
question has just come in says, um, why do fish generally don't seem to have colors this deep, but corals and sponges do? Good question. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I'm not really sure why they have co either the corals or sponges have color because it's kind of unnecessary at this depth. It's just something that they have. And that could be said, I guess, for why the fish don't have much color differentiation. It's not as important oh as my in gosh, when you're in shallower so depths dramatic. getting hit by light. <laughs> You know the trick about how when you put it in auto out, sometimes it. But Although it's also possible the that oh. the fish do actually have color, and they it's might just be what it just did. bioluminescent, and that's not something that we can see. You have to double tap it. Oh, okay. You mean the and the I bioluminescence forgot. might have different colors? Because mm -hmm. we can't. Is uh, that the one that we can't really see in visible light, and we need thermal or? Well, we've got way too many lights on to see any bioluminescence with with our cameras right now, but it's not uncommon that um, animals will have color even though they live in, in dark places just as kind of a byproduct of their tissue and what they're made of. And, you know, um, two worms, for example, are these really bright red um, worms that are kind of coming out of these white sheaths and they live in total darkness as well. But, um, yeah, I'm not completely sure all the current research on color, but. Okay. Gotcha. But yeah, it's not, it's not uncommon. So I usually fly, I usually fly with, I would an auto alt and like to play around with my distance off the bottom. Mm -hmm for a place like this where the consequences of going just a little bit low are just like clouds and clouds um i'm gonna fly with auto out Raj, because i know like three meters is about where it is when i don't stir anything up and so it's just nice to keep it there gotcha. not have to worry about it gives yeah. you brain space to look at all the other stuff hey nav when we get a second and it's a, a good moment for you could you zoom out on high pack and give us just a little overview on your map uh, yeah, Roger, of where our waypoint is right now. Great. I could think we can also send that out to the satellites so they can see as as Nia talks. That's true. Video. Yes. What is that? Oh uh, yeah, did you the little swirly black thing? What was that? Um. No, we missed it. Missed Just it. Passed it. <laughs> was there a call for video? It was like a. Oh, um, video. We can. If you want to put out on, instead of the Argus cam, you could put out the high pack view. On sat two, you want high pack play, high pack survey. It's a computer. Yep. Yeah, it's high pack survey. Oh, you just have to know what one it is. It's not, on, oh, I see. I think um, it's like a PC or computer it, it one is. or two or something. One or two? Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I can't remember. Try one. That's the mesos. That's the one. Uh, yeah, we've got a it. coral or long. something down below. Yeah. Argus, can you fill me in on where your uh, yeah. uh, where your checks are at and everything like that? Our what you're looking at? Yeah, give me a turnover. On the um, half hours, right? Not um, not every half yeah, hour, yeah, but yeah, like but thirty on the half minutes. Hour. Yep. Yeah. Um, tensions three seven, thirteen seven. Okay. Um. Uh, and everything else is okay. Okay, great. Um, just a little update. Um, Kylie is taking the Herc seat, Herc seat, and I'm taking Argus in the arm. Sounds good. Great. How are we doing with the ship move and getting Argus in position? Uh, we're moving. We're awesome. Moving. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, while the pilots are getting settled here, I will do our little orientation. Um, for those of us that can see the high pack uh, screen, we are here where the ship is, and then the vehicles are just off of our starboard side at 3473 meters, 3473 meters, and we are going to climb up this ridge to our next waypoint um, and stop and do some samples 
probably right around the midpoint there, and then probably stop again at the top. Uh, and that is the first waypoint of nine for this dive. So we're gonna climb up this ridge here and then follow up through the rest of these waypoints. Hold on, let me get my zoom level to a good spot here. Uh, so we're gonna climb up this ridge and then follow it and continue climbing along some pretty high relief here uh, until it levels out just a little. It'll still be a, a significant slope, but not quite as steep. Um, and we're gonna continue as far as we can up to here. So it's gonna be a pretty interesting dive. We're gonna look at a lot of different depth range and a lot of different topography. And uh, hopefully we see some good rocks and some good critters. Excellent. Great, so looks like we're gonna go up a, not our steepest slope, but a nice slope pretty soon. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, this this ridge oh. right here is another the steepest, coral down here. Be, uh, mm -hmm. You know, relatively oh, yeah. significant. And we are starting, our, or we started our dive at 3,489 meters, and our waypoint nine is at 1,711 meter depth. Um, and then we've added a few more in that I would have to calculate depths for. Uh, but we are going to look at quite a span here, so it should be pretty interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, thanks for that overview. Um, video, you can put Argus HD back out on uh, satellite instead of high pack. I feel naked without the mask. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I brushed my teeth. <laughs> I'm a little insecure about whether there's food stuck in my teeth or not. <laughs> I also don't hear the scrubbing on the mic anymore, interestingly ah, enough. <laughs> it's funny how that correlated. Yeah. Glad that's over. Herc, what's the deltas you've been liking? It seemed like about 12 to 17 or something. Yeah, um, when we're really stretched out, the lower end. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is there um, any way we can zoom on that little coral right there? Remember, you've got auto head on, so it's going to be difficult for you to... Can I change that? I can change that. Yeah. I can just stay in, if, in the box. If we can't. No, no, no. I'm just, yeah, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just uh, planning. But yeah, no worries. Anything in this little area... If we can zoom as we're going by, that's good. But if it's video zoom, a problem, let's keep moving. <laughs> Something. <laughs> what are you? It's a bit far, yeah. Can you close in on it a little bit? You want you'll in order to guide yourself up to it, you're gonna want to be full wide. Okay. I actually want you to come full wide anyway. I wanna move forward. It's like you wanna get it in the light pool first and then sort of line yeah, up. Yeah, you can do it like that. Totally. Raj. I saw myself falling back. Yeah, totally. You're definitely like this is gonna feel like you gotta keep moving. So as soon as you get to the bottom of the screen, you're sort of out of time. Gotcha. There's another one. Hold on. Yep. Can you help me? Oh no, I got it. I can do it. I'll come down. Sorry, I'm tugging on you, which is why you're struggling. Raj, I was like, I, I couldn't figure out what, what was happening. Is it 
And someone from Germany is very excited, Amber, that someone is so excited to see rocks. <laughs> 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 Amber, I think you're uh, off SPO. <laughs> and she was going on. I heard oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> I was on mute. I was going on and on about how I love all sorts of rocks, even countertop rocks, and nobody could hear me <laughs> except for everyone in the van. And they're all <laughs> smiling. It's like one of they, our scientists assured, do you think that those are black cor corals? Yeah. Oh. It looks like a black coral. Perhaps abyssal? Of Abyssopathies. Abyssopathies. It's okay. a great name. Pathies of the abyss. <laughs> yeah, so those those little corals are finding something to, to hold on to. I wonder if there's some hard substrate not too far. Yeah, that. either something hard underneath or some little small rock that's just kind of taken over. Oh, yeah, because those can't root into the sediment at all, can they? No, they yeah. need a hard substrate. Are they able to, if it's maybe a centimeter or a few Bridge millimeters, down. can they anchor down below? Or is there just right literally at the surface? Uh, I'm guessing since it is, there's, or maybe it already anchored and sediment came over at some exactly. point. Yeah. Hmm. Or some t at some point in time that just rock was exposed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've collected some that look like they're just on the sediment, but just below there's a, a little rock that it's latched onto. Oh. So you know that it latched on earlier before Back it was before covered in sediment. sediment. Yeah, exactly. I like that comment. You like this one? Yeah. Rocks are valid. Yes. <laughs> what are your favorite types? <laughs> Volcanic, of course. <laughs> I really like seeing the columnar basalts underwater. I haven't actually seen one on ones that I was watching live, but I've gone back and looked at highlights later. And columnar basalts um, on the seafloor are very, very pretty and amazing looking. They're also really nice on land, but mm -hmm. I could wax on about volcanic rocks all day, <laughs> every day of the week, all year round. Uh, what is it you're looking for in, in the rocks we're collecting, Amber? I am very specifically looking for uh, volcanic minerals that are really useful for dating, like plagioclase, amphiboles, Sorry. and biotites. Um, just to sort of get an age of these seamounts and the volcanism that happened to form them, as well as looking at their geochemistry and trying to figure out where the magma came from, mm. where in the mantle did it come all the way from the uh, core mantle boundary, or is it something from really shallow? Also, all the minerals when you polish a on. rock sample is, they're really pretty looking. They are. <laughs> Nav, I'm looking at the DP screen. Do you see where on here it shows how much is left in a move? Uh, yeah, Roger. There's a, there's also there's two DP screens. You might be looking at port. Oh, I'm look. Starboard. That's why I'm having it's, trouble finding it. It okay. is confusing. Yeah. Uh, but it's gonna be there's a two goal true. Yeah. Right under okay. The I remember seeing it easily before and like struggling this time. Uh, Okay, where where is it on starboard? Uh, so if you've got your big compass rose in the middle there, yeah. on the left side of the screen, there's a sort of smaller crosshairs, and yeah. it's just to the left below that. I see that, 201 meters, 333. Yes. Roger, thank you so much. Yep. Compared to our nice big rock from before, now that we're in sediment land, not all that many critters. 
A lot of critter trails. Yes. Yeah, yeah, probably just critters. buried in the sediment. <laughs> <laughs> They're shy. Camera shutter, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting a little bit out, out in front. Um, we can. Do you want to call in faster? We can do it. Uh, what speed? 0 0.5? Uh, 0 0.4. 0 0.4? Mm -hmm. Bridge nav. Hi, so another see, thing you can, can do, we increase where you sort of wait speed to 0 0.4 knots? Just cover a lot of ground. Thank you. I like your style, though. I have been changing my heading lately, but you don't have to. You can keep looking ahead, keep it in auto head or something like that. It's absolutely up to you. So um, if we're seeing any rocks in the sonar, we can also feel free to kind of zigzag over there and have a look. Rock. As we're making our way through the sediment area. Yeah, it looks like in the mesotech, it looks like there's definitely some stuff coming up. I can also give you more range on the Sea King. It's like something on the uh, left. Would you want that? Yeah, there's something. Uh, it's only yeah. uh, 20 right. meters total. Yeah. Great. Look at that. <laughs> and here they are. <laughs> that was Paul. That looks like a holothurian. Um, Amber, you're muted. Yeah. yeah. Amber, you're not on SPL. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I've so been muted this whole time. Yep, it's a sea cucumber. Psycho. Oh, and there's some sponges next to it to the oh. left as well. That yeah. looks interesting. Also, there's a <laughs> coral thing up here. Hmm. It's a toppled sponge. Nice. Sorry, sorry. Toppled. It's a very spiky Halothorian. Halothorian. <laughs> mm -hmm. Halothorian? Halothor. Or a sea cucumber. <laughs> Steve <laughs> says this okay. one Just, oh, is on. different. <laughs> different how, I wonder. Because of the, the spikes, maybe? Are you full wise? This one has dial. Thank you. Wow, yeah. Nice Argus view. See the... Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, cool. That's a nice little ridge. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Great. Nice. We can just keep moving up along the spine this little mm -hmm. this little ridge line as we make our way to our, our waypoint. Oh, and those look like in Argus view, big rocks up ahead and maybe that's why it's created this nice little ridge area out yeah. behind it. It looks like those might might be boulders that came down as well. I'm not sure from I this view. I would definitely think so. Those look, they're definitely maybe twice, three oh, times wow. as big as Herc. Look at that, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, the one that we saw at the beginning of the dive could have oh, come from. Sponges and, and coral, yeah. Oh, oh, these are, so anytime you hear people talk about cubic rocks, Video here's zoom. a cubic rock. <laughs> Video zoom. Please. Hold there. Oh, I forgot what this type is. Oh, yeah. Um, Mary, what's the name of this coral? Do you remember? I can't oh. remember. So, Chrysogorgid. Yeah, Chrysogorgid. I think it's a Chrysogorgid. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I have Chrysogorgia, like maybe some seconds, glass sponges. You. Might have some whips. Oops. You're looking for whips, right, Mary? Yeah, Chrysogorgia. Uh, very Sparsely uh, branching so, bamboo so, corals. The whips yeah. are bamboo corals, oh, and we'd call them whips because they don't really have any branches on them. Got it. Video come wide? Yeah, Steve says Chrysogorgia, bamboos, some um, Ramulagorgia in the background. I gotta keep going. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a very nice rock. Beautiful. And then is that a rock in the sediment? 
think so. It probably is. Yep. Oops. Someone in the chat oh, would like Georgia. to know, yeah. when creatures die on the ocean floor, do they just decompose or do they float around like in ponds and lakes? Um, hmm. That's a really good question. Well, like um, decompose, get overtaken whale by falls other in particular. organisms. Are pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, whale falls. It depends on the creature, but um, certainly things eventually will make their way down and either be eaten on the way mm -hmm. um, by by other animals just um, a little stretched. or they'll just yeah. fall down and potentially be little bits of marine snow that are maybe uh -huh. consumed by corals or, or other creatures in the in the deep or just make up the sediment profile that we're looking at hmm. But yeah, whale falls are a great example of... Oh yeah, I remember that one on the website. Yeah, really big, big opportunities for feeding for many, many different animals when a whale dies and it falls down to the seafloor. It's a big source of energy mm -hmm. for a very long time. It uh, sort of reminds me of like what a nurse log is at a forest. A whale fall on the seafloor sort of harbors this entire oh, maybe sea cucumber? Yep. I think so. We had a great comment from one of our scientists ashore, Christopher Kelly. He was saying that um, a couple of the black corals that are um, living on that sediment that we saw, that one is the abyssopathies and another is the schizopathies. And um, we can tell them apart by which direction the arms are facing. Arms up. Abyssopathies, arms down, schizopathies. Ah, I think that's a shrimp. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a shrimp. Oh, we apparently missed some Umbelula colonies again. <laughs> Where are they? I am not sure. I didn't see them. Um, I think we just went past them, but... So we can keep our eyes out. We don't need to go back. Okay. okay. Gotcha. We'll get, what do they look like? They look like sea pens. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, there's a little shrimp up ahead. That's not a sea pen. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um, maybe think about it as, uh, like, you're moving. Uh, watch your, oh, your altitude's just getting a little low. You might Coming see some up. stirrup. Raj. Um, sorry. You're moving through water, right? It's dense, and there's some phase lag between, well, your instructions get there immediately the vehicle can't respond immediately, right? Yeah. So I think when he says that, all he's saying is like, understand that there's a phase lag between your control inputs and the vehicle response. Yeah. Um, so imagine yourself being this in this like slow floaty thing. Okay. And that you need to anticipate the vehicle's ah, I think uh, delay. No. Right? Yeah. It's just a trail. Um, 
This is just you looking Do like through the window of a submarine or something. That's a like fish, that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, For a little bit, of, I was thinking that might be part I of. I don't Herc. know a better way of explaining it, but you're not going to get the answer yeah. by just looking at um, your thruster. Gotcha. Your thruster is turning on and off. Okay, Raj. Pilots, if you could add any new features or instruments to Herc or Argus, what would they be? So the pat answer here is. Uh, an inertial navigation system. <laughs> uh, that's what everybody always says. <laughs> okay. um, to give us like a very much more accurate way of figuring out where we are. Um, and not only that, make our, um, our closed loop control system very, very much more precise. Mm. You'd see a lot less of this sort of like bobbing up and down kind of thing in the video. Um, and we'd be able to figure out where we are without these like kind of DVL resets all the time and yeah. things like that. Um, I like having lots of cameras. That's always my answer. Just more cameras in different places or on pan and tilts. I would love to see a really nice camera on the brow of Hercules with pan and tilt. I think that would be awesome. Ooh, mm. What is that little guy? Looks like a shrimp and some little a something else. Floating. Was it a tunicate? I was going to say I tuna think. more, but I'm yeah. not sure. Approaching 3,450 meter Gelatinous water bob. Depth. Mm -hmm. Roger. Just an update for everyone. Raj. Have you guys ever seen a black swallower during an expedition? A gulp reel? I saw a video of it on uh, Nautilus Live. Yeah. We definitely got we definitely saw a gulp reel if that's that's kind of what I think you might be referring to. Yeah, there's a really great video. Yeah, highlights it's on a YouTube. Really bizarre looking creature. Is it <laughs> also from this area? That video? Oh. Is that a Chonacops? Oh, yeah, it We is. need to zoom on a Chanacops. <laughs> Chana that cops. will make the dive. Okay, video zoom. Oh, and hello, shrimp, shrimp photo bomber. <laughs> <laughs> is it not a Chanacops? It might be a Holotherian. Might be a starfish. Oh. Oh. I think oh. It's a, some kind of a kind of derm. Hmm. It's a really like cool bulbous. Huh. Are we full? Oh yeah, I think it's some type of urchin. Brittle star. We are apparently too Thank deep you. for Chonocops, So says Steve. Oh, sorry. Come wide on Argus. I was Zeus. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Her Looks like a very full. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> very full, full brittle star. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, <laughs> a yeah. very full one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he gorged on something out in the like middle of uh, sediment land. Two zero zero meters step at. Heading or bearing three three three. Thank you. Ah, Steve says that they're probably deposit feeding on organic material within the sediment. Mm. He must be doing pretty well. Yeah, he looks pretty chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Very tiny little arms. Sorry, 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 sorry. Are they tiny or are they just extending really far out? I chubby. Think Brittle thin star. And extending pretty far. Yeah, very thin. Um, pilots, the slope is going to start to pick up in relief a little bit here. Okay. Okay. Roger. Thank you. So, one thing to think about as the slope increases yes. is your joy gain. Yes. Um, if you need more juice, you can always up your joy gain. Another thing you can do is know that your Z bias is engaged, the vertical trend is engaged, so that's actually, that's driving you down. It's taking a little off the top of your maximum up. Okay. So if you're like, if you're at a cliff and you just need more up, Undo. you zero your Z bias. Gotcha. And I wouldn't Got bother to gotcha. use the dial, the rotary encoder for that, no. I would go straight for the button. Zero Z bias oh, button on the screen. Raj. That's why there's a button for it, because gotcha. sometimes you just need to hit it. Okay. And be realistic about um, your speed. As soon as you start to feel like you're really struggling to keep up ahead at the bottom of the screen, we'll just slow down. Roger. Um, we are also looking at about 130 meters of layback right now. Okay. 
Heads up. When's our next sampling spot? Uh, we have another, uh, probably another 200 meter step before, but I um, will give you guys a heads up as we're going to slow down. Okay. okay. Yeah, and your your aim is to get the ship more or less, just like a little bit past that sampling depth, right? Roger. Yeah. Cool. Um, I've heard Kate VK quote um, like a couple minutes of Argus swing for every thousand meters that uh, we are deep. So that might actually be a good thing for you to time. Okay. Like just how long, like when you stop the ship, time how long it takes Argus to get settled at the Ooh, new, spiny at the hall new of location. Thermian. It ends up being a really good insight. Um, that you can use later. Yeah, so Roger. Start the clock. I'll take a look at it. Like maybe it'll take like seven or eight minutes to get Argus settled. That seems realistic. So um, if it's eight minutes to get Argus behind the ship and then like say you need to go back in the other direction because you missed something, that'd be another eight minutes, uh, do the sample or whatever. Yeah, so that would mean like a half an hour stop if you needed to actually stop the ship to do a sample that you passed. Yeah. Um, it might actually be longer than that. It might be closer to 40, meter, 40 minutes or an hour. But it's something to keep an eye on. It might be useful information for us. What was the original per thousand meter? It was like I think it was like a couple minutes, but don't quote me on that. I don't remember. Okay. Kate was sort of spearheading that little yeah. bit of data gathering. But Sounds I thought good. it was really, really good information. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll time it out. Elko, welcome for tuning in. Ooh, Elko, Nevada. <laughs> nice to see you. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Do you mind if I take your bubble cam? No problem. Lots of her holothurians. Oh, is that what that is in the middle? A holothurian? I think so. Yeah. Looks like another spiky one. Mm. It had looked like a crinoid to me. <laughs> Could be. Maybe all the spikes. Same pila. Video zoom. Or maybe C pen yeah. with yeah. Sorry. Steve is typing. Oh. Serianthid tube and anemone. Uh, yeah. uh, come wide, please. Great. All the way wide, please. Welcome, so Reno, Nevada. Thank you for tuning uh, in. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Lots of Nevada people here. You got your people. I've never been to Vegas. <laughs> you gotta go. Should come visit me someday. <laughs> I will. I will do that. For the pilot team, they say, so does HERC have a auto heading setting? It, it seems like it's constantly facing the same direction, they say. It does show, have auto heading. I does. am not in auto heading. <laughs> um, okay. I am, I'm turning. She's turning. I'm turning. I'm also lateraling, which you can just kind of see in the um, Argus view. Just, it looks like you are in auto heading. Oh. <laughs> I, I <put> well. <laughs> no, I, I was looking I at yours. Now. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I can still turn if I'm in auto heading. It's just like, like, like that's I'm in auto heading, but I just turned. You know. Rod, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Where are we going? 
other than 12 to 4, we need a watch name. Yeah, I mm -hmm. agree. We should start thinking of some watch names. Mm. I was on a trip that was, for whatever reason, it was always my watch to do the blue water. We'd just be relieving them all the time. <laughs> um, and it was like, we were really deep, so it was like the whole watch was blue water. And I think we just called ourselves the valets. <laughs> oh, we've got another little rock outcropping out to the left in uh, Argus Oops, View. Sorry, oh. freaked out. This is a little, a little tricky. <laughs> freaked him out. <laughs> Warcaster, <laughs> welcome Warcaster. Um, I have nice. a question for the pilots. Yes. Um, I was getting a quick tutorial on fiber optics the other evening, and I was wondering if you would be willing to speak to or that's a how fish. the fiber optics work. Maybe. It's like a how fish. the fiber optics transfer through the winch. Somebody's microphone. To the van, please. So there's what's called a slip ring through the winch, which um, oh, the geometry of it is a little bit difficult to explain, but it's a lot of prisms and mirrors. Um, but what has to happen is you've got um, fiber going through the whole, uh, all of the wire, right? And it gets to it gets wired to the cheek of the winch, like the winch plate, where it's spinning against a not spinning part. And right there, the light has to be bounced into a stationary set of fibers. And it's piped around Ooh, using This is actually probably the edge of a flow. And prisms. So and that there's might some be funhouse a energy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So let's um, and see. I wish I could give you more on how that works. I have never dissected one, and I hope never to have to. Yeah, it sounds wildly this. complicated. Um, but it's called a slip ring, and we do the same thing with electrical and with hydraulics. Wow. Um, when spinning components have to meet stationary components, um, you have to come up with a track. new sort of geometry yeah. um, for things to pass over each other. Roger. And it's just called it's called slip ring. So this would be an optical slip ring or fiber so slip ring. It's very cool. This yeah. would be. I, uh, I aspire Probably to understand. Flow edge of a sheet me flow. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> me too. So we're going to just keep on moving here, but if we could get a zoom on some of edge of that rock face there, that would be great. Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. Yeah, because it looks like we've gone from having solitary blocks to going stacked. into the sheet flows. Yep. Which makes sense because we're just at the beginning the of our little um, our incline. Uh, uh, and there might be we, a coral or something down near the middle of the screen. Science, if we if we if we zoom and I go up with it, is that like okay, or do you want like a stationary zoom? Oh no, we don't need to be stationary. Okay. Yeah, Roger. we can just take so, a look at the surface of the rocks and some of the okay. creatures there. Argus view is great. Oh wow. Okay, yes. I think it's time yeah, to slow down the cool. ship. Roger that. We've been sitting at the bottom of the screen for a while now, and uh, it's me. No, it's not. It's <laughs> you're actually you're doing the science, right? So like you're you're getting the zooms they need, and you're it's just a struggle to keep up and keep doing that. So Roger. Shall we come down to point two? Sure. Um, Bridge nav. Can we reduce speed to point two knots? Video. Uh, can you zoom a bit for me on uh, Herc? A little bit more punchy. Good. That's good. Roger, thank you. How's that science? Nice. Good. Okay, so we're at a pretty steep place, so I'm yes. going to have you focus on just getting out in front. Yeah, well, that is, Okay. I was hoping to achieve that also. But I figured as I zipped, if they had the zoom, then maybe yeah, like two totally. birds. Okay, come on. Oh, that might be a little wide. coral. Come wide for me on a video, okay. please. Oh, that may have been it. Oh, sorry. I was going to say full wide, but I am full wide, and it is super steep. Yes. The pink. Oh, Raj. Roger, I see. Okay. Like a hard return. Yeah, Raj. exactly. There can be hard returns that are low. But this is a hard return that's tall because there's a shadow. Okay. Thank 
feel like Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> you are an undersea Indiana Jones. <laughs> Just need to put the uh, the old cowboy hat or something on top of Herc. Jacques C Cousteau Jones. <laughs> Jones Cousteau. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Indiana Cousteau. Moss Rock. Did you guys just see an um? Bellua? Umbalula? Umbalula. Yes. Umbalula. Umbalula. I think so. Umbalula. Excuse me, what? I kind of passed over it. I kind oh. of see pen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Umbumbalumba. Umbalumba. That's a very fun name. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking it says umbrella. Oh, there you go. I think. Um, yeah. No, I don't want to. picture. There. Might kind of resemble one. Mm. <laughs> Even these cliffs seem to be quite sediment covered, or are we not quite at the cliff yet and just at the base? But yeah, if you look at high pack, we're, we're just... We're just creeping uh, up. Just creeping up the, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's gonna get... Um, we're just getting into like the, the steeper contours here. It's gonna get a little steeper than this. It's gonna get a little bit steeper. <laughs> Oh, you're climbing. I'm like kind of exhausted. <laughs> 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 you're a rock climber now. I feel I'm putting it on my resume. Mountain summiter. Deep sea mountain summiter? <laughs> <laughs> last, actually, last cruise we called ourselves the peak baggers. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Someone in the chat says that we should call ourselves the Wonder Women Watch. Oh. Um, yeah. We can keep workshopping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, think keep, I think we I, should keep pushing. Yeah. Well, well, we're not really in a rush to figure out our name yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll see something really exciting and that can be part of our name. Give I, us some I like that idea. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll just dub us the pillow basalts. <laughs> pillow basalts. I would not mind that. <laughs> I often find the twelve on the twelve to four. I'm thinking about pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our midnight to four a.m. watch. Yeah. yeah, the backside of that watch. Definitely thinking about pillows. You're thinking about pillows, and you're looking at basalts. Yeah. <laughs> All adds up. And, and some of the basalts are pillow basalts. Pillow basalts. <laughs> Oh, that actually might be a little coral yellow guy down there. Yep. Not yeah, saying to stop or anything for him. I know you're going up steep. <laughs> yeah, yes, we can yes, keep, yes, yes. keep yeah. moving. We're clipping. This is still quite a bit more sediment than I truly expected to see. Really? Even though we're still at the bottom of these contours. Yeah, we'll have to see as we w make our way up if there's, oh, that looks a little bit more exposed. Yeah, but yeah over here yeah. we're getting That's um, an outcrop. exposure. Yeah, no, these are cool definitely nice little sheet for me what our flows. layback is right now. Roger. I've got oh, 127 we missed a fish. meters. 127. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Keep an eye on, see if it see if it actually shrinks up now that we're going a little slower. Um, the other thing I'd love to know is how far are we from our next sampling point with the ship? Um, we are. We have seventy meters left in this step here, and that will bring us. So the thirty three hundred contour is just behind the ship, um, and I was planning to come almost 
to the 3250 with the ship to bring the vehicles up to that spot. Okay. So how far past the, okay, and that's expecting almost pretty close to zero layback. Or are you anticipating a little bit of layback for some of that? I'm search? anticipating some layback for some of that, and then that we will sort of swing in. Swing How much in. layback are you? This is actually for my edification. How much layback do you are you anticipating for that Ooh, setup? Ooh, is that a spot? Oh, that's a good question. Spot. Um, we, we are pass? coming. I think that was as just we slow down. We are exposed. having the layback come oh, in okay. a little bit. Oops, I'm not, not sure. sure. Anticipating maybe. 50 meters of layback at that point? Is that Okay, I think what that's gonna mean is that if um, we are actually there for the full swing, that we're not gonna be able to reach something that we start at once the vehicles settle out behind the ship. Mm -hmm. So I would say anticipate no more than 20 meters of layback max. Okay. Um, that allows Argus to fully settle behind the ship and still have room to keep Herc at the site it had started working at. Does that make sense? Yeah, right. Does that so seem reasonable? We wanna stop the ship Pretty, pretty close much, to the pretty spot. Pretty close, and yeah. then we'll swing in, um, but a little bit past, which will give us a little bit of time. This is my guess. Yep, Roger. I Let's can try make that it. Happen. Sounds good. And you know, if we get bored waiting and we think we can get a really fast rock sample, it shouldn't be, be a, a problem coral. to just set down and do it. Uh, sure. We can play by I mean, we're lined up to at the end of this step be right on that contour so oh, it'll be pretty beautiful pretty flexible herc i'll have you know it took me a full 10 minutes to get that gauge checked on roger rusty <laughs> argus <laughs> little rusty that's how i felt two days ago so i totally <laughs> relate really <laughs> Um, I did zero on my Z-bias. Okay. Um, great. And you still have some joy gain you can crank up a little bit, too. Yeah. But you're doing a great job at keeping up and out in front. And trying to remember that the altimeter is on my bubble. butt and not on my front. Yeah, right? So totally. I'm like, I can't trust you. Not really. No. Just I'm looking at, like, my shadow in the bubble to yeah, see, like, when perfect. it gets really closer. That's perfect. That's the exact thing to do. Terrain, terrain. Lots of terrain. We are going. Looks like a big crinoid right in the middle. Yeah, I see yeah, it. Red That's guy. cool. Red guy. Oops, sorry. I'm actually surprised that there's not quite as much life on uh, mm -hmm. this cliff, on these rocks then, on the smaller rocks that were just, you know, little blocks isolated. Yeah. Like down yeah. at the bottom. I mean, we are still pretty deep. That could be a reason. I guess the current was just more nutrient rich or something like that down at the base, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Look at those rocks off to the right. Mm. Oh, I see them in Argus. We're getting. Well. This looks great. Kind of beautiful job. Low edge of blocks. But devoid of life. <laughs> it's okay. I won't make you do it again. <laughs> but if you're my real friend, you will anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that might be a sponge or a holothurian that is on this middle rock. Mm, here. Thank you. Kind of hard to tell from this far away. Yeah. That could also just be a patch of sediment. And maybe a holothurian right there. That one. So. Yeah, it looks more like it. What are you? What are those? <laughs> <laughs> like signs of life. Ha. Ah. The Such nice angular joints to these flows. I love it. Such perfect 90 degree angles. <laughs> well, almost 90 degree angles. You give such nice descriptions of the rocks. <laughs> Me as a biologist is like some hard substrate. 
Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> are you ladies noticing that there is some apparent current here? Uh, yes, yeah, so you can yes. see the marine snow going by a mm -hmm. bit. Um, so there's a little bit of current. Oh, good. Uh, and Steve says, uh, in conjunction to what I was saying about the lack of life here on the cliff versus on those isolated rocks before, mm -hmm. that the biology down here is going to respond to the topographically induced flows around boulders. Video zoom. And so the higher currents around the larger rocks, like the ones that we saw down at the base, will improve food delivery to all the suspension feeders. Mm -hmm. A little sponge. Ooh, that's a nice little sponge. Good. Thank now, you for what type of me, sponge? Ryan. I wouldn't be able to say. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna go more in. Uh. All right, come wide for me, video. Yep. We're gonna get up out of here. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are subject to my internal monologue, man. It's very fun. It's quieter when I'm Argus, but when I'm a Herc, it's just all in there. <laughs> <laughs> in the zone. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Is this something right here in the middle? Um, Might be another black coral? Coral. Yeah, it looks like a, one of those black corals. I can't get it. Sorry, guys. All and good. Are we getting close to where Coralie wanted a sample or no? I think we're about 30 meters off. Is that right? 20, mm -hmm. 25 uh, We are now? just passing the 3,350 meter contour with the vehicles. So, yeah, looks like Herc is at, uh, 25 meters off from where we're hoping to sample. Uh, the ship is a little further out than that. It's about 94. So in the feed, someone would like to know, what is the marine Hold snow made of? Randy. Marine snow made of? Mm -hmm. Honestly, any right little on the contour. thing in the water column. So it could be very like microscopic, okay. small little critters, or even things that other organisms have excreted. Some more like mucus and stuff like that. Uh, I think Herc, because so Herc, is, kind of an all Herc is shallower term. than the seafloor. <laughs> right, so I think it, the seafloor. The seafloor. So her, the, the depth, the sea depth is slightly larger than what we have on our actual depth read, so. I mean, if we wanna do, uh, 3,300. You're off SPL. Sorry about that. Thank you. Um, watch lead, is this the depth that we wanted to sample at? We want 3,300 square? Yeah, and if, if we're a little bit more or less than that, it's fine. Okay, so, yeah, so we're at, so let's stop the ship since we're already sort of past, well, we're getting close to passing it, and we're going to come up a bunch when we, when, uh, while we're looking for rocks and yep. Raj, let's Bridge, suck yeah. that lay back up. Uh, can we hold position? Yeah, this might actually be a little bit difficult to find yeah, a, a collectible sample Delta. because everything from this cliff Please. face probably would can have come slid down. down. Yeah. Ooh, stop crying. Right. So Roger, thank you. What we're looking for here, we might not find and or then we'll just keep on moving. But yeah, so we're looking for an angular basalt for amber and then a, a piece of uh, crust that does not have sediment on it. Okay, my Would thinking that here look is like a good one? so my thinking here is uh, that if we get this layback sucked up, then we'll have a lot more options to sort of hunt around for what you're looking for. Does that make sense? That sounds good. Yeah, we can do that. And if we're not having any luck, then we'll just keep moving. Okay. 
it's nice every once in a while to check the layback, like to to suck it up and start from scratch. Mm -hmm. So you have a few more sampling options for a while. Great. So ideally, we'd want something that looks like it came from uh, in situ, so something with a little crack that you could break off. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure we're going to find that. We'll just have to keep our eyes peeled along these edges. Yeah, this is this is a pretty heavily sedimented. It looks very sedimented and very... Sedimentary, yeah. Very, very covered area. Yep. And very attached. <laughs> oh, and such beautiful joints. I don't think so. I guess that's usually how I do it. I even usually just check it in, um, like it's easiest to look in high pack because you can actually do the measurement, but I often find myself just eyeballing it in, um, in yeah, in RavNav just because I have NavG, like that's that's what I have. Whoa, Whoa. what are you? Wow. That's interesting. Can we get a zoom Video on zoom? that? Yep. Video zoom. The smaller you make your corrections. Yep, Raj. What Oops. is that? Holotherian, right? Come That's a sea here. cucumber? It looks like maybe, it. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Where are you? It's floating on down. Come here. It's a little floaty guy. You go ahead and uh, try to get him. And yep. maybe it's time for him to feed. Wow. Ooh. Might be time for him to go to the bathroom, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all the same opening, isn't it? It's true. Call him A, call him B. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, come wide, please. I got to catch up. Hmm. There's something else floating up here, too, but I think he's a little shrimp. It looks like the ship's had really good control this whole watch. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, am, I, am I wide uh, video? Thank you. You can bump it in. Thanks. I'm not seeing too many good rock potential mm -hmm. samples, so mm -hmm. we'll just keep our eyes peeled, up, but... Please. Oh, you are? Okay. Roger. Is that you know a you fish, or is that right? part of the sediment? Mm -hmm. No, that's probably part yeah, of the yeah, sediment I, up yeah, in the uh, yeah. middle. Sorry. Uh, video zoom? Mm, looks like something. Or no? Okay. Is he a coral, maybe? Mm, a dead I'm coral? Trying to or get maybe to a different sponge? side yeah. of him. What's he? I said maybe I can try to get to a different side of him. So shrimp. And shrimpy shrimpy photo bombing again. This <laughs> is the worst sediment to be doing any kind of anything. Zooms mm -hmm. anything. It really is. I wasn't expecting to see this all along the cliff face. Yeah. But I guess it does stick. Yeah, Ish. I wonder if um wonder if we are moving a little bit. This map is, is north facing in high pack, right? Yes. I wonder if we're moving a little bit to the uh, to the west where there's that kind of like ridge line. If we'd see less sediment, hmm. maybe we could zigzag a little bit. Uh, our waypoint is slightly west and then we do come back. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can just keep keep following that way, but if we're not seeing anything good here for a rock sample, then then we can just keep on moving. So, well. and the uh, the slope will continue to increase here until we top mm -hmm. out. Okay. At waypoint two. How far are we from waypoint two? Uh, we are four hundred forty three meters away. Whoa. How many jelly beans in the jar? 443. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Ooh. Mm. Video zoom. It's a holothurian. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's oh, interesting oh. one. That looks interesting. Stylish. <laughs> Very cool. Is camera ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
like 800 feet away from him. I'm <laughs> sorry. That is interesting. <laughs> For zooms, I often like to have auto head off. Really? Yeah. Okay. That looks I, cool. I think you'll find that some people tell you the opposite, yeah. but I try it. Okay. Just because you end up fighting it and I end up overcorrecting and then things get all jerky and stuff. Like, I don't know. I struggle with, there are definitely some people like, I think Bob prefers to do his zooms with auto head on. Yeah. Um, but that's definitely something you can try. Okay. Another neat thing to try for zooms yeah. is turning your joy gain down. Okay. Typically, I like to fly around around 70, but if I'm going to do a zoom, I'll like turn the joy gain down to like 40. Okay. And it makes you a lot less jerky. Raj. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. Yeah. You think we could go and get a zoom on that rock over there? Uh, left or right? Left? Uh, off, the to the, off to the left on the port side. Yeah, Raj. You have some time just because we're almost at the ship. Okay. A video zoom? Yeah. Megan, I think you uh, mentioned this yesterday about what causes the lines and the sediment. Is it Can you the tilt the camera down for Argus? You mean the ones that I'm are sorry. right here? You know what? The auto heading is useful for me. These are the ripples <laughs> that we were seeing. <laughs> We're oh, these that. are? So these are no longer the feeding tracks? These are actual sediment ripples? No, no, no. These are not ripples. I was asking oh. if, if you meant the ripples we were seeing yesterday or oh, these? Oh, well, I guess this... Well, then it would be different because they're asking um, what causes the lines in the sediment. Uh, yeah, probably feeding tracks or little things rolling down this... Some of these lines that we're, we're seeing kind of vertical on the screen could have been something rolling down, but it looks like a lot of these are feeding feeding tracks. Yeah, all of those zigzagging or ones that kind of look like a white sand river would be all of your sediment feeders. All right, so mm -hmm. I'm not seeing any rocks that we could sample. Are you, Amber? No. Yeah, so I think we can just keep on moving along here. All right. Uh, would we like to continue at that 0 0.2 pace? Yeah. yeah. Solid. If that's good. Uh, uh, Let's get Herc out in front first, yeah. and then we'll be ready for the move. Roger. Um, video, can you come wide again? Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm just punching. So I wasn't sure where I was at with Zoom. Ooh, I think that's a fish. Can we attempt to, to look at that real quick? This guy? You have plenty, all the time in the world. Is this, is this <laughs> the guy that you mean, Amber? Yes, this guy down at the bottom right. Right there. Roger. Okay. Let's do something good here. Okay. Uh, video zoom. Mm. Oh, jeez. What are we looking at here? Hagfish? Dogfish? Actually, Ugh, I'm not quite sorry. sure. We would probably need to get a zoom on the head and the gills to get something really good. Raj. And I know there are people in the chat that would like some stills of those close-ups. Okay. If possible. Herc, you have all the time you need still. I am, I am, I'm gonna get a good <laughs> zoom on this guy. Do it. We're gonna Thank you. Yeah, he seems very <laughs> We're gonna get closer to him. <laughs> we're gonna get steady, and then we're gonna zoom. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it. We're doing it. We're actively doing it. <laughs> Just let me kind of sort out all my inputs, and then we're doing the thing. We're doing the do. Got it? <laughs> we're gonna get closer to the bottom. We're gonna hold that. We're gonna get close to the guy. <laughs> Try to find him again. Right. Okay, come here. Oh, there he is, up in the upper portion. Okay, video zoom. Maybe he does have some pretty big eyes. Let's see. Oh. Or no, those are patches behind the eyes. Where did you go? Get back here. He's going downhill, guys. Very slowly. 
come back. He just seems to be drifting. Okay, video zoom. <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't know how often you use this. <laughs> I'm guessing we probably can't get too much closer just because of the sediment pile that we've got going. I Oh, I, that might be a sea anemone right there. Um, video, can you come wide? Um, uh, back row, hang on for one second. Okay, you get, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. I understand. <laughs> oh no, it's totally fine. The the ship isn't okay. moving. Argus isn't moving. Get yourself in autos. Ah. Steve is actually saying Sign that's up. probably good enough. So you did awesome, Kaylee. Sign up. Oh, sign up. It's a cut through deal. Sign maybe? up for <laughs> I don't think I'm I've a roll ever with tried eel. to say <laughs> its official name. I've always just called it a cut through eel. eel. Is it faux or po? Sign up po bracket. Sign up po bracket. Sign up Sign up Nice. A lot of these. Control gun, we have Gab sitting in the Herc seat. Roger. And uh, Kylie your... sitting on arm. And our Microphone Ooh. closer, please. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Are we still waiting on the ship? Um, so uh, what's the status with the fish? We oh, are, we are good, good to go. go. Okay, let's, we're yeah. good on the fish. G2G. Um, yeah, let's get going. Let's hit it. Bridge nav, can we step two zero zero meters, bearing three three three, at zero point two knots? Sorry, we didn't get a chance to talk about uh, stick lock a little bit, but no next problem. time. No Roger. Yeah. Thank you. I might be able to show you while we're doing this too. That's oh, another Raj. option. Okay. So, um, let's see. Actually, the best time is when we're going up and down, but uh, let's see here. I can't hear whoever just said that. That was Ryan. Saying, what's on your mind? Um, give me a second to just make sure my camera is in the right spot. But thank you for the reminder. I do forget that sometimes. Uh, Science, are we going to be on the lookout to take a sample pretty quickly in these next? A rock sample, you mean? Yeah. If we, if we do see something that looks uh, like we could pick it up and it's not covered in sediment and it's a small angular rock, like that's something we're looking for, but I'm not super confident we're going to see that Come in on. this next little bit. But Roger, I called in a 200 meter step. Um, if we see something, I will just need to hold the ship yeah. quickly. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled and, and let you know if we I want to stop. I made a little bit of an adjustment to Argus's heading in order to... I can put it back? Yeah. Okay, Roger. So we're still going 333. Three, three. Yes, Roger. Um, video, you can zoom past all the jewelry on the porch. Gotcha. Hey, Aaron Rainey. Good to see you oh, on here. Oh, hi, Aaron. We miss you out here, but your protege is doing incredibly well. <laughs> and can you bring the um, the camera lens up. The camera up, yeah. That'll help me figure out where I actually am. <laughs> okay, if we do find a rock anywhere to sample, one quick little note for um, Coralie for the crust is to take a quick picture before we actually try starting to grab it before the sediment is kind of stirred up oh, just so yeah, we can yeah, yeah, make totally. sure. I yep. forgot about that when we were down at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, in general, if we're going to collect a sample, we should try to get an image before grabbing it. But Okay, I don't know, great. I took a lot of random 
captures of the rock piles, so perfect. there is a chance the rock is in there. It can be rediscovered. <laughs> But I'm not very hopeful <laughs> in this area at all. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything, but... Yeah, this this actually seems kind of like, even for the angle that it's at, fairly stable for a very long time, yep. rock face. Even the edges are... Feeling pretty good about our our boulder exploration at yeah. the base. Uh, I'm glad yeah. we took advantage of that. I, I think that was that boulder I think was my highlight. <laughs> oh yeah. We'll do we'll do better on this cruise too. <laughs> we'll we'll see more, but I think it's really good we did get what we did there. Yeah, it's often very good to capitalize. Mm hmm Can I get a zoom video? Just at the rock. Some stuff to look at while we wait for the ship and the vehicle. Nice, that's a great mid zoom, I like that. We can see a few things. The lasers are still in view. So much sediment covering my beautiful rock flows. Oh <laughs> no. Welcome Colorado. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, one of my many home states. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Colorado. The move looks good. Argus is on the go. Yes. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I Backseat drivers, huh? <laughs> I don't know. They're off SPL, so I can't hear. Is it not? Uh, related to us. Okay, no, you're, go you're fine. Video? You're fine. Yeah, Roger, it's okay. not related to you. Gotcha. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> no, no, it was just a video comment from. Uh, oh. oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, no it's okay. It's all good. Uh, you can good. go just uh, sneak just a little wider video. I moved the camera up. Maybe you'll have more room. Okay. Yeah. Push past the magnum arm. So many sediment cliffs. So many sediment what? Cliffs. <laughs> Oh, uh, you mean like the exposed like yes, bedrock here? Yes, yes. I mean, well, it's not, I mean, it's kind of exposed, but <laughs> just <laughs> how exposed. sediment covered it is for being a slope. Yeah, it too is. Not so Me no like it. <laughs> I think that too bad you're not studying. Yes. Following up these outcrops is oh, look at so that. beautiful. Crinoid yeah, cool. with here, brittle we'll star. A zoom of that. Yeah. Go for zoom. And I guess we can see how the you brittle star arms are kind of coming out. Is it filter feeding off of the current there? Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hmm. Okay, go wide. So what's happening with the terrain? Is it getting steeper or shallower? Uh, we are in for at least this section of the ridge. I think it's, we're pretty much at the steepest extent. It's gonna stay about this steep uh, okay. and then level out as we get higher up okay. and, and crest.
There's a Holotherian. Ooh, yes, mm -hmm. there is. Go for zoom video. A little smudge on the HD lens there. Ooh. Nice correction on the iris. Okay, go wide. It looks like rocks were rolling down this slope. Yeah, I see yes. that. I think they just don't, it's they don't too stay. steep to yeah. stay. What about, can we zoom into like this area here? Yeah. See if there's anything around there. Go for zoom video. It looks like there's something loose. Do you want to go for it? Um, I mean, that thing is a little bit covered Fast. in yeah. sediment. Fast. I think we're fine, we're fine. Okay. For those of you who would like to participate. Go wide. Um, okay. You can find us on nautiluslive.org. And when you scroll all the way to the bottom, it will say send a message to our team. Feel free to send your questions. There might be one if you swing over a little bit more to the right. Oh, and there's a sponge right there. This rock right here, maybe. But it might also be sparsely covered a bit. No, that might actually be part of the, the thing. Yeah, yep, it looks like it's part of it. That's attached. I'm sorry. Yeah, nice eyes, though. And there's a sponge. Never be sorry. <laughs> Go for Zoom video. Is that a sponge? Oh, yeah, it's got a brittle star on it who's not happy he's getting all this attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You I haven't even a little seen more. him. And apparently there had been a sea pen near a previous perspective rock sample. <laughs> okay, go wide. Ooh. Staring up a little. And there might be a crinoid or a coral over here. Looks like a crinoid. Mm -hmm. I'm having too much fun with a telestrator again. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah, stocked crinoid. Ooh, and either some sponges or some sponges and a tuna four up in the previous little cliff there. Tuna four? Tunicate? Yeah, tunicate, mm -hmm. yes, sorry. No combo. These words do not come to me. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. Wow. Woo! These, oh no. Your off has been. These botryoidal texture. This is super oh, light, yes. I'm sorry. We have a question. Uh, why is the sediment detrimental to the rock samples you're looking for? Well, the sediment is going to cover up the face of the rock. And one of the things that one of the scientists here is interested in studying is the crust, the ferromanganese crust that is forming on the exposed surface of the rock, which is um, due to a it's kind of a chemical weathering process with the water and the rock. So if there's sediment covering it up, then it's not able to be uh, as consistent as a record. So we'd like to find a place where there's an exposed piece of, of rock that um, is also something that our vehicles can collect. So if the rock is all consolidated and attached, um, then our vehicle can't smash a hammer into it actually like one might do on land yeah it would actually push go the, for zoom uh, 
ROV backwards. Exactly. So everything we get needs to be loose enough for just for us to take the arm, do a quick grab, and be able to catch it that way. Kinoid. Mm -hmm. Now, would this also be a bathy day, or is it a different one? Cool. Science and watch lead, I'm sorry I was short with you about that uh, that sample. No, you're fine. Um, if the ship's moving, yeah. the more decisive we can be, the better. You can go wide video. Um, and it's okay if we make a decision and we change our minds about it. Um, and like, you know, we stop the ship and we have to start it again. Uh, but I hate missing a sample that we could potentially get just because we didn't stop the ship, you know? <coughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I understand that. I'll try and be more patient with your decisions. I will be more patient with your decisions. <laughs> I'll just do it. I don't have to be a jerk. It's not required. It's not in the job description. Yeah, sometimes we have a plan where we know where we want to sample, but then the sample's not there. Yeah, so totally. We have to be on our toes. <laughs> another crinoid we could probably mm -hmm. speed up by a tenth of a knot um if you guys are not super interested in what's happening here we'll get a little more layback but we'll cover some ground sure that's fine with me Roger. point three yep. yep i'm i feel like i'm killing time a lot so sure okay, let's do it bridge nav can we come up to 0 0.3 knots is that a coral there too looks like it is that a bamboo coral Roger, thank you. Yep. Uh, rats. Oh my that gosh. Might be not quite. <laughs> this is my absolute <laughs> opposite of like normal that operating procedure is, is to not it is go kind close. It's sparsely branching, but not in the way I want. <laughs> Just really want to go in close and cannot. That's all right. I'm so sorry. I will. This will sink in at some point. <laughs> Just brushing the dust away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As one says. <laughs> uh, maybe some rocks over here? There's a holothurian. Maybe That's two. That's not a rock. It's not <laughs> a rock. Poops too much to be a rock. <laughs> Actually, it kind of looks like it's part of the outcrop. Zoom video? Just a half zoom. Yeah, that's part of the outcrop. Rats. Yep. OK, go ahead. That little, huh. What, yeah, what about over here? These look like something we could pick up maybe. Yep. Uh, Amber, I think you're off SPO. I don't think so. No. no. You're not on SPO. <laughs> Those all look attached. Rats. I so want us to find a rock. I do too. Rock I love watch. rocks. <laughs>
Ooh. Ooh. What are you? What is Roger? Hmm. Oh man, that looks it like is. the same thing again. Yeah. This is very sneaky. Oh, and there's a I don't know if that's a sponge or something. And there's also a coral up that there. Looks like a black coral of some kind. That looks like a sort of half dead sponge, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a dirty sponge. Yeah. And a bamboo right there. And I need to stop playing with a teleprompter. Isn't, is that a black I, coral? A bathypathies? I think it so. It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like a bathypathies. Ooh, and look at that botryoidalness up there. There's an, is that an urchin? Oh, yeah, I see I don't the urchin. Know, yeah. Here we can get a zoom on that. Oh, Go yeah. for zoom. Don't try and zoom with your joy gain at 100%. <laughs> that doesn't work. Hmm. What's that? Okay, you can go in a little tighter. It's a cool looking urchin. You got might be a little sponge there? down there as well. Yep. Okay, go wide. I gotta catch up now. And Steve says the orange one was recently described bathopathies pseudo alternata, just described this year. Ooh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's a great name. That big rock over there is too big, ain't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, Darn. It's a very large. Darn. It's probably 30 centimeters, <laughs> maybe 40. <laughs> and we also just used up all of our no worries. time. Let's let's keep moving. No more Zoom time for us. Yeah, but I'll fix it. We'll get some more pennies in the Zoom bank right now. What <laughs> All is right. that? Whoa. What is... That looks like an instrument. Yeah. Put some like sparkles on that guy. Do we He's need to been... check this out or just get some photos? Uh, or nothing? That looks like an instrument. That looks yeah. Like that is a... If we can get a Zoom, we can. But yeah. if we need to keep moving, let's just keep moving. Nope, we can get a Zoom on this. Go for Zoom video. It looks like it was a steel housing. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. and, the, and the steel is all gone. Wow. There was somebody that mentioned uh, in the chat that uh, this used to be kind of like Johnston, might have been a disposal oh, area. No kidding. Hmm. Wow. Like Johnston? <laughs> like, like, what, like Johnston. How, much, Johnston? how much like Johnston are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't the think it's very wide. much like Johnston, but I don't actually know. Uh, are we full wide? Could you? Oh, thank Don't you. Don't let her okay. touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's already covered in sediment, so that's... Yeah. Yeah. So much like Johnston, Don't really. <laughs> I'm going to regret saying anything, aren't I? <laughs> We're going to keep moving. Ah, yes. Yeah, Steve says, take an image, maybe an oceanographic instrument. I was thinking that it looked yeah. like that, like a steel housing yeah. where the steel had all gone. Yeah. And that the aluminum on the inside, maybe? Um, hmm. was all that's left because often you make electrical chassis out of aluminum and anodize it or alodyne it. Yeah, it looked like some kind of probe or sensor. What is alodyning? It's another way of coating, um, like a sort of a chemical reaction coating. Like an um, alloy? Is that the root there? Or? You're, you have pushed me be beyond my limits. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> it's another coating that I've seen on chassis and stuff like on in the inside of bottles. Raj? Do you, can you picture what like an anodized coating is like? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just it's have it's never like heard that. It's like a much. It's um. It seems to be a little bit sheer. Just another coating to keep the metal safe. Gotcha. They'll be more of a electrical person, so. <laughs> just a sort of black circle the down yeah, there. Tire. Oh yeah, I think that's a little star. Ah, maybe a cookie star, or do those come in dark colors? Uh, I think it's a cute star. Oh, it's so <laughs> cute. Yes, it's it is. And then there's a coral or something sponge up there as well. Oh, it is a little I cute star. I am Aww. definitely going to stir up sediment, but yeah, go for Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it for the cuteness. Go for it. It is cute. Oh, Everybody. my gosh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Somebody could crochet that. Yes. <laughs> and has. And maybe already had. So, I Mary, think, think do you have any me. dark blue oh, that colors? Is so or maybe that's not a dark blue. It's like a purplish. Mm, I love their speckles. And then maybe slightly brown edges on the tips of the arms. <laughs> that is really beautiful. Deep violet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think no, we can do this. Okay, we do have on. some crocheters here. <laughs> uh, science, are we liking this piece? 
Um, yeah, let's let's just keep on moving up. Um, are we going point two right now or point three? We're going point three to point four to actually. Point, yeah. Okay, we just picked up a little bit. Um, yeah, let's let's just keep moving at this pace. Roger. Yeah, the um, her. Uh, I'm just waiting for Argus to catch up. Is all that these zooms gotcha. are. Gotcha. We're not. Excellent. Argus is just marching along. The last time we stopped Argus was for the potential rock sample. Perfect. How far are we from waypoint two? Uh, we're we are 278 meters. Ah, yeah, I see that now. Um, okay. So we probably won't won't quite make it there before the end of our watch, but we'll be close. We'll be real close, yeah. Yeah, all right. If anyone asked, just say that the crazy volcanologist on watch required us to stay. <laughs> it's all right, we got distracted at our boulder. I think it was worth it. Yeah, considering this. Considering the sediment we have now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do y'all happen to know um, how deep is the sediment before we would hit hard earth? That's the question asked. Ooh. I'm not sure in this particular spot, but I wouldn't say it's too, too deep. We do see there's quite a lot of um, outcrops, but in some, it's dependent on the current and the morphology of the, the seamount. And so in some spots, it might be very deep and in others, it's poking out. Hmm. But sometimes we check that by sticking a stick down into the sediment that has a measuring uh, measurements on it so we can know how deep it is. Ooh, that might be a coral or something down there at the top yeah. right. It looks like it. Bathy bathies. Oh, rats, this is what we got now. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a thing. <laughs> Who are you? Hello, it's little so guy. so hard with all this stuff in the way on the porch. Yeah. So there must not be too Go much for sediment for him to be clinging on. I'll try and find a way to see it. Standby video. Gotcha. Does that help? No. Oh. Oh, that's a great idea. We yeah. should be getting our close-ups from the 4K. That's what I was thinking. Whoa. I just put it up there. Clever. You are very, that's very clever. Okay. Yes, I need to be closer to it. To, all uh, right. To see here. Let's try. Oh, wow. Look at all those slump features of that Are you sediment. full wide on the 4K? I am now. Okay. There it is. Okay. Now go for zoom. Okay. It's top down, which is tough. Is that your full zoom there? Um, I can go a bit more. Whoa, oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. something. Okay. Yep. Zoom okay, out. let's experiment with that idea because uh, go wide on Herc Zeus, please. Um, yeah, because this is, it's really hard to get a good, like, zoom on a little thing in front of you because you can't go too low because you stir up the sediment. And you can't go too high because then you can't see over the jewelry on the porch. Yep. And so the thing about the 4K is we're limited to about five recordings per watch okay. at a maximum. So, um, But you're allowed to take, ca can you take captures from it? Well, that, that's what the recordings are. So we're, we're recording for about three seconds and then we'll get captures from that. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. But we also have a, the, the still cam running, so it might be getting 
the, there's the Thurber still cam that I'm seeing. That one, so in order to get good stuff out of the Thurber still cam, you really need somebody who's watching it. Um, you know what I mean? Like playing with the settings, getting a good focus, especially for close-ups on things. Gotcha. Well, if we need to do that, I can zip over to the table. Okay. If there's something in particular where we want to do that, that's, that's yeah. not a problem. Do you know what PC that's on? Uh, still cam. Go for zoom. Oh, little shrimp. Love watching these guys. <laughs> I can have it up on the left over here. Okay. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so silly. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> it's like they're walking in air, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do -do. Okay, go on. Off to the market. <laughs> <laughs> if we follow it, will it take us to hard sun, hard bottom? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's the still cam. Ooh, I see a rock. Not a small rock that we can pick up, but a rock. A rock rock? Mm-hmm. A oh, big yeah. old block. That. We can see it in the sonar too. Mm -hmm. Nice. What was the name of the? It is still camera. I just wanted to make it full screen because oh, the, I see the white of the other stuff is blinding. One question that has come up is, uh, why is the right side of the porch much much clearer of objects? Oh, um, oh, hi. It's Hello. a thing. Mm. Oh, um, that's, that's just. We haven't put anything there yet. Mm. But don't tempt us. We will. <laughs> uh, go for Zoom. That is a brittle star oh, eating. No, that's a crinoid. What is it? It's a brittle is star. It? I think crinoid? It's, that's crinoid. What the heck is that? Well, it is on something. It is on a little that, little yeah. bit of something. Like there's, I think there's crinoids there's involved. Yeah. Or a, uh, yeah. That is very unusual. That In what way? Uh, Steve says Bersingid sea star. Okay. That, okay. It looks more like a sea star now. Yeah. Okay, go he on. He is much too big to be on what he is. <laughs> this is <laughs> like on like a little perch. Huh. Are we able to go to the left a little bit to check out the... Uh, the rocks. Uh, yeah, the rocks to big see rocks. if there's maybe anything loose on sure. this big guy. I don't have high hopes for it, but I can be optimistic. <laughs> oh, there's also some critters. I'm not quite sure what Go critters. For it's a shrimp. Oh, it is a shrimp? Looks like it. No, it's a no. bag of no. oh, wow. wow. Look at that. Nice. And nice with the naming up there. I was on watch with Steve last year. Ah. Gorgeous. <laughs> and look at that lovely botryoidal <laughs> texture of the crusts of the rock. Yeah, it looks even more Botryoidal here than we were seeing yeah. a little bit lower, a bit more exposed. The are bigger too. Larger grapes. <laughs> Maybe instead of grapes, muscadines. <laughs> and Steve agrees with your assessment of bath bathies. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> He's he says well. maybe could also oh, be yeah. staropathies. Ooh. I like that name. Yeah, I do too. Feels um, ESPE <laughs> for some reason, staropathic. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like that. Is it okay if I use bubble? Yeah, go for it. Okay, unfortunately, to keep going, I have to get away from the outcrop. I think we got a fish over here, though, so that's lucky. 
Hello, Fred. That's yeah, okay. that's fine. Yep, we'll keep moving. Ooh, can we zoom in on yes. him a little bit? We will Let's be doing that. Let's see. <gasps> what is it again? Ooh. Oh, no, don't go away. Go under zoom. Another cutthroat eel, maybe? What were you? Watch your Brandy? iris. What the is main it? Um, oh, doing. not quite sure. Halasar, I think. I think those fish are very said. shiny, super reflective. I'm not even sure if we, oh, we did get a still of that. Nice oh, great. going. The holosaur. Holosaur? Sounds like a dinosaur name. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Anything with sar. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded lizard. But they're fishes. Hmm. Okay, I'm coming up pretty quick, so I got you. come up. Thanks for the heads up. Yep. Just got a little distracted by like eels and stuff. Oh, there's another one of these. Oh yeah. No. Oh. Wow. Hmm. More debris. All oh wow. Right. Go for zoom video. Yep. Let's get a zoom in image. Looks oh. just like the last one. Oh, so this is another one. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Ooh, and we've got nice uh, yeah, some critters crinoid too. and coral there, too. Bath uh, we're a little, again, maybe? We don't really have anything in the zoom bank right now, so I'm going <gasps> to keep going. I'm yeah. sorry. More zoom bank. Oh, oh this, we, keep this is a... Oh, wow. We've cool. gone into lava tube, low bait flow textures. Oh, oh we're going to oh. have some interesting geology here. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like it. I'm sorry. Look we at are, look at the Argus view. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It is a beautiful view. We're about 50 meters off of our next sampling location. Okay. Uh, if you want to start, yeah, let's let's slowing. Let's slow down. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, it. it's actually really awesome to be able to hand over to the next watch, with the ship stopped and everything settled out. Love it's like that. a beauty move. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Very slick. Hope they return the favor. And we get to show <laughs> them lava tubes. Unlikely. <laughs> and if we get them at uh, if we get them at dinner time, I bet they'll be cooking. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, moving. <laughs> yeah, I will bet they'll be moving pretty hot. Zero Ooh, point one. Anemone. Go for zoom. Ooh. And then anemone. An 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 <laughs> there might actually be a few uh, loose rocks here too. Not sure. Oh, that's oh. a wild looking one. Oh, yeah, that's oh. a nice one. I am so Bridge not set up to zoom oh, right now. No. Sorry about that. Oh, this is probably actually not a good sampling place anyway for rocks. Ooh, we might have a C pen up here. But, um, okay. Roger. Our rocks might be more right, pilots, we're gonna up hold here. Position, so awesome. Sounds good. Uh, C pens where? Uh, this guy right here, or a bamboo oh. coral. Okay, what do you want to look what? at? Name them. Um, let's look at this one. Great. I defer to Megan. Go for Zoom. Oh, pretty. Nice. Mm. Whoa. That one looks quite long. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. It almost looks like the stalk from a stalk crinoid. Yeah. Doesn't really look like a... Yeah, Steve says stalk of a crinoid. <laughs> that, that makes more sense. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a stalk crinoid without the crinoid? Can we look at... <laughs> what, what's that right there? Is okay. that the same? It's definitely got something living There's on the end of it. There's something on the end of it, yeah. Mm. Go for zoom. Oh, it's back up, back up. It's also looking like a stalk. Back up? Why? What's uh, on your mind? Oh, no, no, I, no. I was <laughs> thinking of the, the end of it to see what was on oh, the Oh, yeah. Okay. She just went zoom you out. You don't have okay. to mind <laughs> Not <me>. back up. <laughs> Uh, okay, go for zoom. We're gonna. I just hit the bottom, so we're gonna be regretting this very soon. But we're good. You, you, we can zoom yeah. out when you're ready. Okay, go for zoom or zoom out. Whatever, whatever it is we're doing. Ah, Amber, that was a says, coral, right? Ooh, more corals. Nothing like the sound of an excited geologist. I know. <laughs> yes. I actually have to catch up right yep, now. Yeah, so keep gonna, going. Yeah, totally. 
Let's yes, keep moving. And we've got a few pillows here. <laughs> Multiple Is it time to start thinking Oh, wow. Yeah. Time to start what? Sorry. Great perspective. Thinking about pillows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to be doing that. Beautiful. Why does that look wow, so much different? Wow, look at different? this! Look at what this big is block. This? The both Whoa, of those. That is that, is, that, that is, is a sponge skeleton, I think. No, no, over no, oh. over there. It's completely a box. Off shape. to the port side, the there's a very uh, boxy shaped. Yeah, right this there. You want to make a cube? That does not look like a rock. No. Does it? That is looks that like part something. Of a chest? There Can might we be some kind of have your captures. I need to keep moving. Yeah, yeah. let's keep moving. Yeah. We don't need to look at this. There's definitely a lot of debris here. Like something's been going on here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Rex here. Mm -hmm. Something so unusual. Rex. Oh, Raj. Up off of Palmyra, there have been a few ships that have run around on the reef. Oh. Is the ship holding position effectively? I just can't. Um, or you can just show where the ship is there, and it's pretty yeah. easy to see. Yeah, we're stationary. Right okay. There. Great. Beautiful. Ooh, Holothurian. Pretty purple. And a star. Ooh, what is that guy up there? Do you know, Mary? Um, not from this go angle. Go for zoom. Is it dead? Is it dead? Okay, go ahead. I cannot tell. Gotta keep going. Yep, let's keep, keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Argret, 58 meter layback. Awesome. One theory, someone in the feed says there was a lot of World War II activity as well as an airfield here. I don't know how true that is, but um, could definitely be a reason. And then someone else asking, you went straight past the pirate treasure chest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's another piece of debris. There is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another one of those another like tube. steel Oops. tubes. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get a quick zoom. Wow. I wonder what those things okay. are. And Let's what is, it almost looks like a uh, exploded oh, battery a, type stuff. Uh, yeah. Methpathy. The oozing stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go for zoom. Yeah, maybe about the pathies. Yeah. Or um. star pathies. Now that I know that they look similarly. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Yeah. It looks more like a staropathies than a bathypathies, I think. It's but hard to get a good angle I on it here. It's like pointing right at us. us. Yeah. Yep. Go wide. Okay, let's get a zoom. See if we can do a little better. Ooh, that's Ooh, a better that's a angle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pretty. Were you able to get anything of that uh, data? Yes. Okay, my excellent. <laughs> Go ahead. Ah, Steve says that one is bathopathies. Okay. Ah, okay. And nobody's going to see it again for a while, <laughs> <laughs> even if we wanted to.
another crinoid. Oh, oh, is that oh, a? Oh, oh, is that a rigid Yeah. Can you yeah. get a zoom? This on would these? be the first yeah, one. Yeah, go for zoom. Oh, they're much more dramatic when you see them against a black yes. background. Yeah, that's true. Yes. There was so also pretty. something up go to wide. the right. I'm gonna try and get around well. to the side since we've got now that we're getting close to the to uh, Argus settling out. I might be able to get you one. Oh, nice. I love these. They're so dramatic. I know they're oh. so beautiful. Spiral. Argret. The Ritigorgia Magnus Spiralis. <laughs> nice. And then there's a little guy further up on yeah. top of him as well. Maybe also it's another It's so one. light colored. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. Almost like a little pinker. Go for zoom. Can't quite get the black background without stirring up a lot of crap. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, that's something different up there. Yep. It's so pretty. I have no clue what, though. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, he looks so nice. Where's that 4K? Do we have a lineup <laughs> on that? 4K. Let's check yeah, it out. The program. That looks like a completely different part of the world. I know. I don't have any idea what's going <laughs> on. Oh, I see it. Oh, oh nice. there it is in the top. <laughs> thanks, uh, <laughs> thanks, Kylie. It's like, what? Like, yeah. No, new technology. <laughs> back somebody's here. background on their desktop. That's <laughs> not learning, it. Learning there it is. <laughs> That's a good shot. Yeah, it oh. is. Wow. Um, we could do a, we could do a video. We could do a 4K. Um, oh gosh, that's oh, beautiful. Oh, blast, pretty. if you want. Oh, I got chills. Yes. Oh. I can get that on. Something. I'm sorry. Um, if we can, oh nope. no! Never mind. No. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. No worries. Um, we should make it so we can get those 4K captures a little bit uh, quicker. Yeah. So we can just say like 4K capture and then just go do it. Yep. Yep. So for the protocol, basically, once you're all lined up and we're come and catch up now, I got a good zoom. Video no can go for it. It's not so bad. We're back into the sheet flows. It's gonna come up pretty fast too as I do this. Raj. Thank you for tuning in from the Philippines, Andrea. Hello. Hey, Philippines. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, Lord. I hope that is not a booby on deck. Jesus. <laughs> so I wasn't actually up for that. I wasn't either. Standard 50 boobies landed on the ship. <laughs> you, you and they did. were just like, aggro? Aggro, they vomited a lot of fish. <laughs> you didn't want to be there, trust me. Poop. It was a pretty big mess. <laughs> it was quite the interesting sight. They were very intimidating. It oh, serious? <laughs> they're pretty, it was a they're nightmare. Really I birds. saw you running through. <laughs> they're very large. It was a nightmare. I think they have, what, a five-foot wingspan? Oh, really? So their yeah. wingspan is uh, longer than I am tall. Wow. As I say that, they're really worldwide. big birds. They're big. <laughs> they can dive at up to 60 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. Really? Yes, we looked him up last night. We yeah, you needed to know who your enemy was, <laughs> really, who you're protecting against. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an art of war rule, right? Like, know the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at him at the front of the ship, so I'm like, please go away. <laughs> Ooh, nice rocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the ship is stopped and Argus is nearly settled out. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys thinking ropes? what I'm thinking? Yeah, let's take a zoom. Maybe over here. That's <laughs> <laughs> like what we were thinking, actually. I think we should just talk about this. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> There's a coral. <laughs> So what happened was, <laughs> what happened was, I said, "Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking?" And I was clearly thinking that I get to grab some rocks. 
Well, we can and do that, like, but we have to zoom first. Yeah, but we, I, I completely agree, but we need to start with a zoom. Okay, great. We'll start with a zoom. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the same page, Gabby. Just a different approach. <laughs> Just step one is zoom. <laughs> Gabby, your laugh is infectious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like in here maybe? Oh, I don't want to reach in there with the arm. Um, like um, here? Let's see. Maybe there's some off to port side also in Argus if you can um, see them. Maybe oh, like yeah. over here. Okay, go for zoom video or over there. We, I'll just pan across. Yep. Yeah, I like that. I like your instinct for the half zoom. It's really nice. That's a perfect zoom level. Those. Mm -hmm. What are you guys seeing that you like, or whatever? Uh, these are too sediment covered, so they're okay. no good. And for you, are you seeing anything Ooh. for yourself? I mean, that might be okay. So we may have to nudge. Well, I think we're going to be fine if we stay here. If there's something here that I you mean, like. I mean, we can move. What about that? What, yeah, like where the lasers just about Yeah, are. right here. Yeah. Those look uh, sort Is of long and flat, maybe? Like that guy? I mean, that might be good for the crustal sample. Those ones are too sediment covered for the crust, I think. But okay. even that little guy? This little one? Yeah. How about, so I thought that was what you were talking about. Hold on one second. There's even more over here. Oh, yeah. I see that. Hmm. There's a, see these little guys here? Hmm. Yeah. Can we, can we push in a little bit more? Yeah. Let yeah, me, let's I'm, take a I'll look. I'll actually go closer. It's nice. I'm thinking it's nice to set down in a place where we can actually set the vehicle down on some of these bigger rocks. Okay. So you don't stir up so badly and like yeah. get covered in sediment. Let's try it. Um, so what did you think about this here? Like these little guys right in front or maybe yeah. up into the left. Can you see in Argus like all the options we have yeah. for like fractured rocks around here? I see that. Oh, wow. Oh, it actually, maybe um, I'm trying to, can we zoom out on Herc? Yeah, go wide. Maybe over here. Okay. Those oh, yeah, that looks nice, and I can sit down good. on this rock pile. Yeah. yeah. Though, for me, they almost look a little bit flat, but let's try looking at some of them, because I could very possibly be wrong. They might be quite, they might be quite large, actually, yeah. they're pretty far away. They do look quite big now that we're... But there's some little ones around there, too, especially, like, low... Like below them, there's that one, one little, yeah. That one. Yeah. yeah, I really like this darker one yeah. behind it. Okay. I thought you would like I'm that hearing one. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of good feedback here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to settle in. Great. It's actually steeper here than I was anticipating. We'll see how this goes. Oh. Yeah. 12 to 4 is definitely having a great time. This is the first non-male watch. Very excited. Thank you for tuning in. We will soon be transitioning as we are still exploring Palmyra Atoll. Okay, this is what we got. Do you want us to try and tell you what we were looking at again since we're on the the shift change or do you want to wait until and let them do it? Um it doesn't matter. Um okay. let's see if somebody comes in, if uh if we get a full complement of ROV real quick then yeah, we can give them they haven't gotten a chance to grab anything yet. They might really like it. Oh, all right. Um they're tiny. Yeah, there like they them. are. Yeah, let's do this on the shift chain. Let's do yeah. this on the next shift. We got okay, them all nicely set up. Okay. And uh, if you can tell your the people you're turning over to exactly what you want, they'll make sure you get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really liking the one on the bottom. Both of us might like 